Hello, good evening, and welcome to Egger Stadium in Van Wert, where tonight the homestanding Cougars will play host to the St. Mary's Rough Riders in a fantastic Western Buckeye League matchup. I'm Garrett C. Reich, joined alongside Scoop Miller, and we'll bring you all the action tonight here from Van Wert. Tonight's WBL contest is presented by Citizens National Bank. See how they're building businesses one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. And Scoop, when you look at tonight's matchup, a 3 and one Van Wert squad, a 3 and one St. Mary's squad, and uh, somebody's WBL chances probably squashed here tonight and neither team wants to be on the end of that but but th that's in all likelihood somebody's WBL title hopes go out the window. Well you're exactly right the reality is if you do not get to W tonight you're really out of the WBL hunt so uh, both these teams already have one loss in league play so this is one of those must win games if you know anything about this rivalry you knew it was going to be a good one before there was anything like that on the line, but certainly a lot of implications here tonight. And hey, you want to talk about contrasting styles. Van Wert wants to get about 80 plays in tonight. Uh, St. Mary's will be content with in the 30s to 40s, and they want to run the ball about 40 times. Van Wert's going to want to throw the ball about 40 times. Well, you're exactly right. It's going to be which team can impose their will on the other. It's going to be successful tonight. As you mentioned, St. Mary's would love to uh, maybe chew up half of that first quarter with a nice drive to start things out. And of course, Van Wert, you know, they want as many reps, as many series tonight as they can get. This is a high powered offense putting up over 40 points per contest. That'll be a fun matchup tonight. Uh, you have uh, really two different uh, Colossians yeah. going after it and uh, who will prevail you know, you're going to have to really earn this thing in the trenches. It's going to be a hard-fought physical contest, no doubt about it. St. Mary's won the toss, elected to receive Van Wert, as they do here in Cougar Country. We'll defend the wall and scoop before we get to our opening kickoff. You got any quick keys to the game for both sides? Well, I think for St. Mary's, they have to uh, tackle the athletes of Van Wert. You know, they have so many skilled players that are capable of uh, taking off at any time. I think they also need to take care of the football. That's something that's plagued them yep. early. They've had six fumbles in the early season, a couple picks. Then Van Wert, you know, they need to find a way to get St. Mary's in a second and long, third and long scenarios, kind of get them off schedule. I think Van Wert also needs to create some big plays on offense and uh, protect the football as well. Something they've done awfully well. They've only turned the ball over twice, both via interceptions on the season. St. Mary's receives the opening kickoff as Braden Sullivan is met at the 22-yard line. A big hit there by the Van Wert defense. But that's where the Rough Riders will begin their first drive of the night. Yeah, great job of containing uh, Brayton Sullivan. He's one of those big play guys for St. Mary's. He's a guy that can take it to the house at any time, but great special teams play by the Cougars. And right now, St. Mary's will start out uh, looking at a long field ball resting on their own 24-yard line. So for the Rough Riders, they're starting offensive line from left to right. Looks like this. Xavier LeClaire, Greg Felver, Caleb Miller, Trent Wyckoff, Braden Saylor. Cody Wallace is the quarterback. Running backs behind him will be Aiden Hinkle, Braden Sullivan, and Colton Mabry. Eli Rickard and Carter Steinberg will play tight end and wide receiver for the Rough Riders. They'll go off tackle right for the first play of the game as Hinkle gets the handoff for the Cougars. Well, that's a play Riders. we may see a few times tonight before it's all said and down. Just kind of a smash mouth football that time. Uh, just a quick hitter on that right side. But uh, St. Mary's doing what they do so well. They pick up four yards. Makes it a very manageable second six here coming up for the Rough Riders. And when you look, Scoop, at what the wing tee does, how, how much of it is, hey, if you're going to do this, we're going to do that. If you're going to do that, we're going to do this. As Aiden yeah. Hinkle gets a carry for one yard. Yeah, and the thing that's tough to stop on the uh, wing tee there, you have to be on defense really accountable for all ten gaps, you know. So right now there's a lot of pressure being put on that uh, Van Wert defense, but you're going to see Van Wert uh, – you know, most of the night, I got to believe they're going to be walking eight, nine guys up into the box. Great stop by the Cougars that time. Going to bring up a third and a long five here for St. Mary's. Great opportunity for this Van Wert defense to force an early three and out. So the Rough Riders will break the huddle. Two wide receivers to the top of your screen with Hinkle behind Wallace in the under center. Wallace will keep it himself off right tackle. Tries to get to the first down marker. He's cut down shy of the 30-yard line. Gain of just a couple there for St. Mary's. Looks like the Rough Riders are going to be forced to punt. Uh, great job by that Cougar defense. They got such great penetration up front that uh, did not allow uh, St. Mary's to uh, turn it upfield, so they just couldn't get to the edge. And after picking up uh, four yards and first down, the next two plays net just one yard, St. Mary's will punt it away. So a fantastic job by the Van Wert defense to set the tone here tonight. Jay Schaefer back deep to punt for the Rough Riders. Maddox Crutchfield and Ryland Parker back deep to return for the Cougars. As St. Mary's gets the punt off. A nice end-over-end kick by Schaefer, caught by Crutchfield at the 34-yard line. 
He'll bring to the near sideline. Has a blocker. Crutchfield will step out of bounds just shy of the 45-yard line. Wasn't quite able to turn that quarter, but nonetheless, a nice return there for Crutchfield. Man, we're going to have pretty good starting field position here. Yeah, it's so important as a return that you catch the ball in flight. That time after the 37-yard punt, they were able to take it. Uh, they had the return set up on that right sideline. They take the ball all the way across the 50-yard line into uh, St. Mary's territory. So now Van Wert on their initial series looking at a short field. Cougars offensive line looks like this. Jackson Jones, Devin Story, Jacob Geesing, Caleb Bledsoe, and Logan Dotson. Aiden Pratt, the quarterback, only been sacked three times this year, thrown ten touchdowns. Wide receivers are Carson Smith, Connor Campbell, Garrett Gunner, and Maddox Crutchfield as they'll start in an empty backfield. Pratt back to pass, looking. Has all time to throw, has a man deep. It's Connor Campbell, he caught it, and he's gonna walk into the end zone. A 47-yard touchdown strike on the first play of the game for the Van Wert Cougars. Gives them an Allen Davis insurance touchdown. Uh, what a way to start for Van Wert. Uh, that time, uh, Connor Campbell, he was one of the trips they had out to the uh, left side. He ended up uh, running a nice uh, corner route, and what a toss there from the quarterback, Aiden Pratt. That ball was uh, right. He was able to catch it in stride, did not have to slow down. One play drive, 47 yards. Van Wert uh, really have set the tone, not only with that offense, but their defense and special teams have all been spectacular here in the opening two minutes. Damon McCracken will come on for a Lee Kinsel sales and service extra point. Looking to make it 7-0 Cougars. It's a big play there to begin the game. And you know, Scoop A, Aiden Pratt had <laughs> all day. If he wanted to still be holding on to that football, he might still be if he didn't let that let that thing loose. Yeah, you're exactly right. All kinds of time. That time he was able to look at all five receivers. We saw the one-on-one -on -one matchup he wanted there with Campbell, and he took advantage. And there's the PAT. And just like that, the Cougars jump on top of the Rough Riders 7-0. So the Lee Kinsel GM sales and service extra point is good. We'll step aside here, 949 remaining here in the first quarter on WOSN. Back here at Van Wert, the scoreboard reads 7-0 at the Cougars' lead on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Cougars, one play, 47-yard touchdown drive from Aiden Pratt to Connor Campbell. Has them up on the board and leading the St. Mary's Rough Riders. And uh, that's, that's about as good as things you go there on the first drive scoop. Yeah, no question about it. And I like how we talked about one team trying to impose the will on the other. There you see the kick field at about 12-yard line. Great special teams play once again by the Cougars. This time St. Mary's is going to be pinned inside their own 20. So uh, for the second time here in the opening two minutes, uh, St. Mary's looked at a long field after great special teams play by Van Wert. So Keegan Sharp bottled up and great effort there by Sharp. He broke a couple of tackles but just couldn't ever really get loose. And you're right, Scoop, they're going to start at their own 16-yard line, which is going to make the Rough Riders go an awful long way to try to tie this score get, score up at seven. Well, Garrett, that opening drive by Van Wert, you know, one play, 47 yards for the touchdown. Remember, St. Mary's number 10 in WBL and pass defense. Meanwhile, Van Wert number one in pass offense. So that's certainly something that Coach Recker wants to exploit here tonight. Split team backfield, Brayton Sullivan now in the open field at the 30, the 45, the 35, the 40. Big play there by Brayton Sullivan, who Scoop mentioned in the early going. Has the ability to take that puppy to the house every time he gets it, and you see the explosiveness there on first down. Yeah, he's such a weapon. Uh, there's, you know, he's the uh, leader in all-purpose yards in the Western Buckeye League this season, and there you saw a little bit of the reason why. And not only is he one of those downhill runners that uh, is a kind of a punishing running back, but he also has excellent speed. That time he's able to break free, he takes it out to the. 42-yard line. Sullivan gets it again off right tackle. He nearly picks up another Leland Smith insurance first down. Very close. He's going to be just shy of that first down marker, but got out to midfield. Oh, it's going to be important for that Van Wert defense to really control, you know, first down tonight. They have to force St. Mary's into those second long, third and long scenarios. Kind of get them off schedule, out of their uh, base offense. But right now, second three coming up for St. Mary's. They're going to run the ball there on the quick hitter. He's going to take it. 
Eight inside the 20. In the open field, can't be chased from behind. Maddox Crutchfield tries to bring him down, but it's a 51-yard touchdown run by Aiden Hinkle, and he is going to try to tie up the scoreboard as he rumbles 51 yards for the Allen Davis Insurance touchdown. A uh, great burst that time by the senior. Aiden Hinkle, that time on a quick hitter, he's able to uh, break free there. And you saw what kind of speed he has, able to outrun the Van Wert Calvary. And Hinkle leads the Western Buckeye League in uh, rushing yards per contest, just under 100. Well, that's a good start right there. He got uh, nearly 50 on that one. And just like that, St. Mary's has an answer for that uh, quick Van Wert touchdown. Logan Rush is on to kick the Lee Kinsel GM Sales and Service extra point. The snap is back to hold us down. The kick is up, and the kick splits the uprights and is good. We're all tied at seven. Take a timeout here on WOSN. All tied at seven between Van Wert and St. Mary's here on WOSN. First downs tonight are brought to you by Leland Smith Insurance. Leland Smith Insurance Services, your first call for all your insurance needs. And both squads not, uh, not getting a whole lot of first downs. We got touchdowns here in the early going. 8.36 still left remaining on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard, but we're tied at seven. Wow, well, what can you say? You know, Van Word, a one play drive for 47 yards and a touchdown. Uh, St. Mary's comes right back with a three play. I believe that was 83 yard yep. drive there by the Rough Riders. So the kick caught by Brylin Parker just in front of the goal line, and he'll bring it right up the middle of the field. Makes one man miss, runs into his own blocker, and it's going to be stopped just shy of the 25-yard line. So a little different starting field position here for the Van Wert Cougars, but just one offensive play so far for the offense and it resulted in a touchdown. So they're not necessarily in panic mode here in the early going. Well, great answer right there by the uh, Memorial uh, Special Teams play. You know, Brylin Parker is a guy that uh, leads WL in uh, kick return yardage, averaging over 40 yards, yards per return. Eight. That time they're able to uh, corral him after he brings it out uh, 24 yards to the 26-yard line. But uh, Van Wert will be looking at a long field this time, uh, trying to uh, break a 7-7 tie here in the opening uh, three and a half minutes. So the Cougars send the offense back out onto the field, the most potent offense in the Western Buckeye League, as Aiden Pratt will stand alone in the shotgun once again with Crutchfield as the near receiver to him. He'll turn. Sling it to Campbell, who caught the touchdown pass. Campbell's in the open field once again at the 40, and he's Virginia brought down to three, Connor Campbell. by Jacob Kessler, but still a Leland Smith Insurance Services first down there for the Cougars. A uh, great job that time. They had trips to the right side, and they went with the middle man, uh, Campbell, that time. He just uh, did a little comeback route and was able to pick up some good yardage on first down. Pratt now slings it to the near side, looking for Garrett Gunter, but a little too tall for Gunter, and that's the first incompletion of the night for Pratt. Yeah, that time a little bit better pressure by that defensive front of uh, Memorial, so that's going to be a key tonight, I think, Garrett. You know, how much pressure can they get uh, to the quarterback, Aiden Pratt? Uh, you have to really make him try to get rid of the football real quickly he wants to. We saw what happens when he had time there in that first play from scrimmage for Van Wert tonight. Second and 10 for Pratt, gonna keep it himself. Runs up the middle of the field, gets very close to midfield. It's gonna be stopped at the 47, 48 yard line. It's gonna bring up third and relatively short here for the Cougars on their first carry. Uh, great job there by Aiden Pratt. You know, that time a designed uh, quarterback draw. Pratt comes in the second leading rusher for the Cougars as he averages just under five yards per crack. Gonna bring down a third and five here. Cougars try to get the Rough Riders to jump off sides, might have done it, but no call from the official. They try to get Jamal Kessler to jump. Pratt back in the shotgun by his lonesome. Once again, three to the right, two to the left on third and five, looking left. Fires to Crutchfield, caught it at the 45-yard line. He's got enough for the Leland Smith Insurance Service's first down, and that'll move the chains for Crutchfield's first catch of the night. Yeah, once again, a great pitch and catch uh, by the Cougars offense. Uh, that time they come up uh, big on third down, something they've done uh, very well this year, hitting nearly 60% of their third down conversions. Pratt quickly rolling to the near side, finds a wide open Campbell in the middle of the field, can't split the tackle, but although gets it down just past the 25-yard line to the 23, Connor Campbell having a big first quarter here for the Cougars. Yeah, again, uh, good protection that time as uh, Pratt was able to roll out, and he's able to find... Uh, the 6'2 junior, Connor Campbell, that time kind of run the drag across the field. Once again, another first down here for Van Wert. 
Caleb Bledsoe sends the ball back to Pratt. He'll turn and fire. It's caught by Nate Phillips at the 20-yard line. He's gobbled up Number by a couple of St. Mary's Phillips. Rough Riders. Braden Sullivan in on the stop, as was Tristan Gardner for St. Mary's. Yeah, yeah great coverage that seven, time two. by the uh, DBs for uh, Memorials. They were able to uh, quickly uh, get on top. After the catch, pick up a four yards here, second six coming up. Ryland Parker in the backfield for the first time. He'll take the hand off to the 20. Barrels through Sullivan at the 15-yard line. For Gets very Parker close Parker to the Leland Smith Insurance Services first down. Oh, that's a big time run by Bryland Parker right there. You know, he really had no business getting uh, much more than a yard or two, but uh, that time just sheer determination, five, one, kept the legs first. moving, was able to break a couple tackles, third and one. Third and very short as Parker takes the handoff. He'll go up the middle, bust it out to the outside, looking for his seventh touchdown run of the season. Didn't get there. Stopped just shy of the goal line at the two-yard line, but the Van Wert Cougars moving, inching closer seven, to another so Allen Davis Cougars. insurance touchdown. Uh, right now, the Cougars play with plenty of tempo and everything working right now. Ninth play of the drive upcoming. Parker takes the handoff and he's got his seventh touchdown run of the season. A four yard touchdown run for Brylan Parker. Makes it 13 7 Cougars. Another Allen Davis insurance touchdown. Wow, how impressive a drive was that. Uh, that time they're able to uh, cover 74 yards in uh, just over two minutes. But again, a great uh, surge up front there by that offensive line of the Cougars. And right now, you know, they're really kind of willing their offense against Memorial, who has no answer right now for this potent uh, attack from Van Wert, as you mentioned, Garrett, that leads the WBL in points per game at just over 40 points per contest coming into tonight. Damon McCracken on for the extra point. Snap is back. Hold is down. to kick is up and through the uprights. And it's 14-0 Van Wert on that Lee Kinsel sales and service. Extra point. Extra points are brought to you by Lee Kinsel on Irvin Road and on West Irvin Road here at Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. 14-7 the score. Van Wert leads here on WOSN. This first quarter of action is brought to you by Pantry Pride. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service that you can count on. And Wirt leads St. Mary's 14 to seven here. 10 offensive plays for the Cougars and 14 points on the scoreboard. I think head coach Keith Recker will take that every time. Oh wow, what a opening uh, six minutes. We're exactly halfway through quarter one and uh, both teams uh, showing a lot of firepower. It's been the defenses that have been really lax here, but I think you have to really credit that, especially this Van Wert offense. It's not only has hurt uh, St. Mary's through the air, but also on the ground there. They, we saw an impressive 76-yard uh, drive end up in another touchdown here for Van Wert. Damon McCracken on to kick off for the Cougars. He'll send it deep to Keegan Sharp just inside the 10-yard line. He'll try to keep it here along this near sideline and look for a hole. Got out to the 25-yard line before he made contact with a Cougar and drops to the turf. But the Rough Riders were going to start there inside their own territory. Yeah, great tackle that time by Connor Campbell. You know, that time they had the middle return set up, and they actually had some uh, solid blockers up the middle. But a uh, great play there by Campbell. And they're able to uh, pin St. Mary's inside their own 30-yard line. So, again, uh, special teams play of Van Wert has been big. Now, this time the defense has to rise to the uh, occasion here, trying to keep uh, St. Mary's out of the end zone. You know, the Rough Riders countered with the touchdown on their last drive. We'll see if they can come back. Once again, straight team backfield behind Wallace under center as he hands off to Keegan Sharp. Braden Sullivan, excuse me, gain of about five on the play. But uh, touchdown saving tackle made there by Carson Smith. Otherwise, Sullivan still might be running. And again, that's that quick hitter. And that time they're getting an excellent surge up front here. And again, you know, that's what that wing T offense is all about. You know, it's going to come at you really smash mouth football. But uh, a few different twists they can throw in there. We're going to see an occasional trap play. We'll see an occasional pass. Right now, St. Mary's looking good on the ground. They'll hand off to Sullivan in the middle back once again. He gets very close to a Leland Smith insurance first down. Did pick it up as he got out to the 40-yard line. So Sullivan, the bulk of the load here in the early going, but generally from St. Mary's, we've seen Aiden Hinkle carry uh, 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 the, the majority of the football. He got 63 carries coming in tonight with Sullivan with 48. But uh, Sullivan here in this first quarter has picked up most of the workload. Yeah, when you got a special uh, athlete like Braden Sullivan, you know, you want to try to get him, uh, you know, maybe 25 touches per night. And certainly they're on track to do that. And, uh, 
And again, he's one of those guys that can take it right at the heart of the defense and still find ways to uh, pick up positive yards and move the chains. But right now, uh, looking at first and 10 from the uh, St. Mary's 40-yard line. Well, also a handoff to Keegan Sharp. Has a convoy of blockers in front of him. Makes one man miss. Spins out of a tackle and is in the open field. Sharp off to the races down the far sideline. Has one man to beat. Couldn't do it. Garrett Gunner shoves him out of bounds. But a big run there by Keegan Sharp. Puts the Rough Riders in business. Uh, what a play there by the senior Keegan Sharp. And give credit to uh, senior Greg Felver. That time uh, he was a polling... Uh, Guard and he was able to uh, free up some space for the senior and Sharp. Uh, some fine footwork there. Uh, he took a couple hits, spun away, and just like that, St. Mary's uh, knocking on the door. They had the ball in the red zone. Power T backfield once again. Hinkle sprints through the front of the Fanwork defense, just shy of the goal line, but another first down there picked up by the Rough Riders. A lead on Smith Insurance first down, and it's going to be first and goal for the guys in white. I tell you what, Aiden Hinkle, he's just one of those downhill fullbacks that uh, welcomes uh, any type of physical contact. And that time, uh, even though uh, Van Wert's kind of in that goal line defense, he goes right up the middle there, is able to uh, move the chains. And right now, uh, St. Mary's will have a first and goal, ball resting at the Cougar four-yard line. You'd have to believe this is going to be four-down territory if needed. Absolutely. They'll turn around, hand it off to Hinkle, off right tackle. Did he get in the end zone? Van Wert pushes him out. Didn't get to the goal line, and it'll bring up second and short once again for the Van Wert D. Yeah, this is vintage uh, St. Mary's football right here. You know, just uh, line up type splits. We're coming right at you with our running game. And that time they're able to get maybe half of those four yards on first down. So a good surge there by that uh, rough rider line. And now they're looking at the uh, second goal ball resting uh, right on the two yard line of the Cougars. And at this point, at this point, spot on the field it's kind of just strength versus strength isn't it? it's big guy versus big guy and who can get the push yeah no credit about it and that's what uh, st mary's loves to hang their hat on so they're not going to try to really out coach themselves here they're coming right at you wallace takes the quarterback keeper did he get in the end zone still no signal still no signal he did a two-yard touchdown run for cody wallace makes it 14 13 after the allen davis insurance touchdown uh, that time uh, cody wallace the quarterback uh Really on the quarterback sneak, and really that was a snowplow play. That time, uh, just no splits at all. They were just right on each other, and uh, they went on the quick count, and he just fouled his blockers, got a little help from his uh, running backs behind him. But either way, it's going to be a two-yard uh, touchdown run by Wallace. And wow, the points continue to mount here as uh, both teams have hit for two scores here. And we're not even nine minutes into this game, Garrett. <laughs> We are uh, on pace for quite the, the ball game here in Van Wert as Logan Rush is on to kick the extra point. Lee Kinsel, GM Sales and Service, extra point with 3.07 to go here in this first quarter. And the kick is up, and it splits the uprights and is good. And we're all tied at 14 here on WOSN. Touchdown tonight, presented by Allen Davis Insurance, your solutions provider, specializing in auto, home, business, insurance, and more. Got plenty of Allen Davis Insurance touchdowns here in the early going scoop as we're tied at 14 with still three minutes to go here in this first quarter. Well, we knew this was going to be a fun one. I'm not sure anybody kind of expected this. That was the longest drive of the first quarter of the four touchdowns. That took a whole two minutes and 53 seconds. Uh, covered, uh, I think, 72 yards on six plays. But uh, that's the longest drive both play-wise and clock-wise. And There's the, Cougar, the onside Rough kick. Riders get the onside kick. Jay Schaefer catches it. You can't advance it, but nonetheless, the, the Rough Riders catch the Cougar snapping, and Jay Schaefer got an extra possession there for the Rough Riders. Oh, I love the call by second-year coach uh, Bo Fry. If you can't stop him, uh, why kick it to him? Let's roll the dice here and go for the onside kick. And I'm not sure you can uh, execute that any better. That was a fantastic uh, fantastic onside kick, and Schaefer kind of boxed out everybody to make sure he was the only guy who's going to get it. Well, you see where the ball is placed. You cannot advance it, so that's exactly where St. Mary's Field is. They knew exactly where the 10-yard line was, obviously, right there at the 50. And once that crossed the 50, they're able to pounce on it, well executed by the special teams. 
They'll hand off to Braden Sullivan. He tries to sweep. He'll reverse field, but he is brought down in the backfield. A big momentum play there for the Van Wert defense as Jackson Jones ain't on the stop for the Cougars. Oh, that's a huge play by that Cougar defense. You know, it's so important to get them in those second long scenarios, get them off schedule. You know, that time the Rough Riders went with a 26 power, but uh, great job there. Not only sealing the edge, but they got a, a good push there in the line. You saw Sullivan try to cut it back, but the cavalry got to him. That's going to be a loss of four, so that's awfully big. But the way uh, St. Mary's have been running the football, obviously they're just one big play away from moving the sticks. But uh, right now, I got to like what Van Wert's doing. Traditional wing tee as Wallace back to pass, hit as he throws. It hangs in the air for a long time. Reese Crew got the interception for Van Wert. Got it at the 33-yard line. Wallace got hit as he let it fly. And Reese Crew gets the interception for Van Wert. Wow, what a fantastic job there in the secondary. And also up front, you know, that time you saw uh, Wallace was hit when he delivered it. But what a great job of seeing the football coming back to it. And what a spectacular interception. That's a big time catch. And uh, wow, after St. Mary's sees momentum with that uh, yeah. onside kick, credit to Cougar defense. They rise to the occasion, they make a big play, and they force the turnover, the seventh turnover of the season. Uh, for the Rough Riders, something that has plagued them here through the opening uh, four weeks. So the first pass of the night for St. Mary's is intercepted. And now Aiden Pratt will try to take the Van Wert Cougars back for a drive. Tied at 14 with 2.15 to go. Pump fakes and will keep it himself. Has a blocker in front of him. Nice open field tackle made by Kate and Sharp for St. Mary's. But it's very close to a Leland Smith Insurance Services first down. Yeah, once again, a well-designed uh, you know, quarterback draw. That time uh, we saw Pratt kind of fake the quick pitch there to the wide side. Then he tucked it away. He was able to pick up eight yards and first down. Pratt looking to his left, throws to Crutchfield at the 45-yard line. Nice open field tackle once again by St. Mary's quarterback Tristan Gardner. And Gardner slow to get up and is now limping on the field at the 50-yard line. Yeah, nice catch here uh, by Crutchfield. That's a well-designed play right there. They were just a block away yeah. from Crutchfield uh, getting to the edge and maybe taking that to the house. But a great uh, cornerback play by the Rough Riders. So Van Wert at their own 44-yard line and a timeout called. We get a Metzger Financial Services timeout. We do. St. Mary's timeout takes the first Riders Metzger Financial first Services timeout, timeout for either squad here tonight. We'll step aside tied at 14 here in the first quarter on WOSN. Timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Tom, the first Metzger Financial Services timeout called there by St. Mary's. And Scoop, we think that was probably a wise when Tristan Gardner was limping on the field. And now he's not. And as well as Van Wert throws the football, I'm not sure you want to have a, a injured defensive back on the field if yeah, you're a rough You riders. can't have anybody out there 80%. Gardner's one that made that nice uh, tackle on the play before, but he was shooken up. Wasn't going to come out of the game, but the coaches recognized he could hardly move. Wise time out there by the Rough Riders. Pratt in the shotgun, back to pass, now pressured. He'll sling it down the middle of the field, looking deep for Nate Phillips, just past the outstretched hands of Phillips, and it's an incompletion. Pass, 10 for six, Nate Phillips incomplete. Wow, that time just maybe uh, a foot away from another long touchdown pass from Pratt. And, you know, that time that thing was a tight spiral for 50 plus yards there. And again, uh, credit to that to offensive line. The Cougars, they're giving him plenty of time to sit back there and try to uh, kind of pick out his guys. That time he just misses. Pratt now turns and fires to Crutchfield on second and 10. Crutchfield in the open field to the 45. He's got a Leland Smith Insurance Services first down and a couple more as he'll be brought down at the 43-yard line. So right there, you see the importance of taking some shots downfield because what that's going to do is going to keep that uh, secondary of the Memorial honest, and that time they gave up a lot of yards there on the catch, a nice run after. Pratt slings it to Campbell on the outside, and Campbell's off to the races at the 30. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, a 43-yard strike from Aiden Pratt to Connor Campbell. Had one touchdown coming into tonight. He's now got two Allen Davis insurance touchdowns here in the first quarter. Now that time, just a quick uh, three-step drop there, and uh, Campbell's Able to uh, catch it on the uh, out in the flats there, and once he got to the edge, there was no denying. And uh, just like that, uh, Van Wert scores again. Uh, right now, they've had the football 
three times. They've had three touchdowns, and this uh, St. Mary's defense has not had an answer. Damon McCracken on for the Lee Kinsel GM Sales and Service extra point. High snap is down. The hold gets down. The kick is up, and a kick is good. St. Mary's beat Van Wert 21-14 last year. With a minute to go in the first quarter, the Cougars lead 21-14 here on WOSN. Tonight's WBL contest is presented by Citizens National Bank. See how they're building businesses one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. Cougars lead 21-14 over St. Mary's in an explosive first quarter here from Van Ward Scoop. Wow, 35 points here uh, in 11 minutes and 3 seconds. If this were the fourth quarter, Garrett, I'd say maybe Van Ward scored too soon. But, uh, <laughs> but again, their offense has really been outstanding. Uh, Three times they've had the football, three touchdowns, and now these special teams are trying to do their thing. Keegan Sharp catches the return for St. Mary's, brings it out to the 32-yard line before he's brought down by the Cougars. And another nice return there by Keegan Sharp at St. Mary's. Going to have to reverse course from their last drive where they went two plays but threw their first on their first pass through their first interception of the night. Yeah, that's a nice return. That's also a very nice tackle by Aaron Dowdy, uh, the special oh, teams player there uh, for Van Wert because, again, that's one thing uh, St. Mary's could do with their special teams, uh, skilled guys. They can take it to the house. And that time they take it out to the 31-yard line before uh, Dowdy puts a nice hit on. And now St. Mary's looking at a long field here, first and 10 on 31-yard line. Straight team backfield behind Wallace. They'll hand off to Hinkle. He'll get out to the 35-yard line, maybe to the 36, the just shy of the 37. So a gain of six there on first down for the Rough Riders. Again, Hinkle comes in, leading the Western uh, Buckeye Jesse League Jones. in yards rushing per game, just under 100 yards. And that time he's able to pick up a, a solid six yards on first down. So. That's always the key uh, for the Rough Riders, staying on schedule, yep. you know, trying to get to, you know, four or five yards there in first down. And again, uh, you know, they don't need to score on one play. They just need to really sustain drives, move the chains. That's a great start when you get six on first down. Rough Riders have to snap it one more time here in this first quarter, and they'll hand off along the near sideline to Colton Mabry, his first carry of the night. Tackled at the 44-yard line. It's a Leland Smith Insurance Services first down with two seconds remaining in the quarter. A nice play by Ashton Bear and also Reese Crew that time as they, uh, they pulled both guards and, and ran the sweep there. That buck sweeps to the left side. That'll be the last play of the opening quarter. What a good one to spend. We will step aside. 21-14, Van Wert leads St. Mary's here on WOSN. Twenty-one fourteen on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Mentioned earlier, last season's game ended 21-14 with the Rough Rider victory. It's 21-14 at the end of the first quarter here in 2022. Yeah, well, a lot of fun's been here at uh, Egger Stadium. This has been a, a nice series. As you mentioned, you know, last season St. Mary's won by a touchdown. Two years ago here at Van Wert, uh, the Cougars pulled out a 34-28 wins in that historic season that ended in the state championship. Aiden Hinkle takes a sweep to the far sideline. Gets past the midfield stripe. Pushed out of bounds at the 48-yard line, but another carry there by Aiden Hinkle. Yeah, I tell you what, uh, the senior fullback, uh, he's just a load to bring down. And again, so important for the Rough Riders to stay on schedule. That time they pick up six on first down. So again, uh, you know, this is kind of the MO of this uh, offensive unit of the Rough Riders. Just try to wear at that Van Wert defense. And that's why you certainly a concern coming in for uh, 11th uh, year coach Keith Recker was making tackles, get all 11 guys in on the defense. Hinkle another carry. He'll bulldoze his way to the Leland Smith Insurance first down and a little more brought down at the 41-yard line by Hinkle. And again, uh, you know, nothing fancy and uh, nothing that Van Wert hadn't seen in the film room a hundred times. But again, uh, stopping it's another thing. And that time they get a great push there from that offensive line. And Hinkle's able to uh, move the chains. Ball resting on the Cougar 42-yard line. Another fresh set of downs here for the Rough Riders. 
Rough Riders trailing 21-14 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard as Cody Wallace will go back under center. Split backfield behind him with Sharp and Sullivan. Sullivan takes the dive and he'll go up to the 35-yard line before he's brought down by Carson Smith. But another nice gain on first down, Scoop. I tell you what, uh, what a what a package to have. You got a guy like Aiden Hinkle that's able to kind of bowl his way there, and then you give it to uh, Braden Sullivan that goes uh, right up the shoot there on the quick dive play. And once again, uh, St. Mary's comes up big on first down. They pick up seven yards, ball resting right on the 35-yard line of the Cougars as the Rough Riders are trying to put in the end zone to knock things up. And maybe just as important for St. Mary's, that clock continues to tick. I, I have to think they want to limit Van Wert possessions. Yeah, I think that's going to be important. They want to control that time possession, try to keep uh, their defense on the sideline, keep uh, Van Wert's defense on the field. And so far in this drive, they've done just that. A Metzger Financial Services timeout called by St. Mary's. We'll step aside as well. 21-14, Cougars lead the Rough Riders here on WOSN. Timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Out of the timeout, Rough Riders saw something apparently they liked or didn't like on second and three here and wanted to talk about it. Yeah, and again, they, they ran the clock down. Uh, it might have been a design timeout, but uh, right now they got uh, things going their way on the ground. There's a good surge by that uh, Van Wert defensive front. Luke Wessel coming in from his cornerback spot to pull down a Hinkle just shy of the first down marker. It's going to bring up third and one here for the Rough Riders. And, and Scoop, you, you mentioned maybe that's a design timeout where, you know, the upcoming play is going to be the seventh play of the drive here for St. Mary's. They've been kind of churning along here, uh, maybe just a break for that offensive line. Yeah, this might only be the second, third down tonight for St. Mary's. They've had a lot of success except for that opening drive when they were three and out. So right now, third and one, but you have to believe where the football's at, you know, even if they don't convert here, it's certainly going to be four down territory. Cody Wallace, quarterback sneak. Last time we got in this situation, he keeps it himself again. He's got the Leland Smith Insurance Service first down, and he's going to get to the 30-yard line before 13, the whistle's blown, the but they'll move the chains once again. You know, it kind of sounds strange, Garrett, but, uh, you know, really, I think St. Mary's would rather get a first down and third down than on first down. You know, I yeah. think they just want to keep the football on their side, trying to wear at this Van Wert defense. And again, try to shorten the game. We mentioned in the pregame how Van Wert would love to make this a, a game where each team's going to get 15 possessions. I think St. Mary's would be more content to maybe uh, make that closer to 9 or 10. But again, a great pickup there on third down. And now they have the ball on the 31-yard line, fresh set of downs. Rough Riders playing with two tight ends, and Cody Wallace kept it himself, and he swallowed up in the backfield. Number 13, Cody Wallace, sacked on Number the 53, 53 for Van Wert. Jacob First, and that's Jacob big, first. big play there for First. And, and that pushes them back to second and, what is that, 17 or so here You're for the Rough the Riders. Donald's. Yeah, nice job by the senior, uh, Jacob First. That's his fifth tackle for loss on the season, which uh, leads the Cougars. Also great penetration Lost, that time uh, from fellow Riders. senior uh, Garrett Gunter who was able to uh, get some serious penetration. So right now, uh, St. Mary's off schedule. Last time in this situation, they threw the interception. Wallace will hand off to Colton Mabry. Has a blocker in front of him. Got back to the original line of scrimmage, shy of a 30-yard line. Gain of six there from Mabry's second carry of the night. Oh, I love the call there. I don't think there's any sense to get in panic mode for St. Mary's. Certainly this is going to be four down territory, so you didn't need to get a first down there. You wanted to get a big chunk back, which they did. And now they're looking at uh, two plays to get nine yards as they have a third and nine ball resting right at the Cougar 30 yard line. And probably just as important, the clock continues to tick. So this has been by far and large the uh, longest drive for either team tonight as we're uh, nearing the seven and a half minute mark this opening half. Straight T backfield behind Wallace. He'll hand off to Sullivan, tries to break it outside, guides his blockers, nearly slipped a tackle. It's a gain of three yards on third down, and it's going to be fourth and decision time for the Riders. Uh, what a tackle by Ashton Bear. You know, that's a play where uh, typically St. Mary's is able to get another seven, eight yak yards off of that. That time, uh, Bear was able to uh, hit him and drop him. So now it's going to bring up a uh, fourth down and six here for the Rough Riders. And the Van Wert faithful on their feet trying to encourage that defense to make a stand here 
and protect that seven-point lead. Seven minutes remaining here in his first half. Rough Riders trail by seven on fourth and seven. Wallace back under center. He'll turn, pitch, reverse. Looks like they'll try to throw, looking for Sullivan in the far corner of the end zone. Equal catch. No, the ball's incomplete. Just left just a little bit short. Sullivan's arguing he brought it to the turf. A long pass thrown by Carter Steinberg. Hung in the air for a while. Sullivan battled with a Van Wert Cougar, Reese Crew, who got the interception earlier, but it's incomplete. A big stand there by the Van Wert D. Uh, what a play by the 5A junior Reese Crew. You know, that time a little trickery by the Rough Riders. They went with the uh, reverse, and then they passed out of it. And they had the guy they wanted, Brayton Sullivan, uh, a little clearing there. But uh, Crew, not only with good closing speed, he somehow was able to knock the ball free. It looked like Sullivan uh, might come up with it. Remember, Sullivan, 5'11", 185. Uh, Reese Crew, 5'8", 150. But uh, Crew was able to make a stellar play. And that's a big hold there for that Cougar defense. So Van Wert with a seven-point advantage goes back to work offensively. Three receivers to Pratt's left, two to his right. And he'll be in his lonesome in the shotgun. Aiden Pratt, the do-everything quarterback, slings to the near side to Campbell. Campbell tries to spin out of a tackle before he's brought down by Keegan Sharp. Connor Campbell, big first quarter, had two touchdown catches, had one touchdown. Coming into this, in, coming into tonight's ball game for the first four weeks, he's got a couple of grabs here in the first half. Yeah, he's done a very nice job. That time he just did a, a quick uh, out route to the flats there. He's able to pick up five yards. Crutchfield with the reception this time, and he's off to the races. Past the midfield strike, being chased by Kessler, and he'll sling him out of bounds. But another big play there by Maddox. Crutchfield gives Van Wert another Leland Smith Insurance Services first down. I tell you what, Crutchfield came in tonight with uh, 22 receptions on the season, averaging uh, 16 yards per catch. Also a five touchdown reception, which leads to WBL. That time he moves the chains. Ball on the 40-yard line. Pratt to Campbell once again. Campbell has to cut it back towards the middle of the field. Takes a big hit. Stays on his feet. Is shoved out of bounds. Shy of the 25-yard line. Van Wert faithful. Won a late hit. But Campbell, another reception and another big play there for the junior. I tell you what, Connor Campbell. Wow. He's been spectacular tonight. You know, that time, another nice reception, but it was the uh, yak yards afterwards. Uh, you know, he was hit pretty hard there. It's going to look like it's going to be a short gain, but he somehow was able to kind of deliver some blows back, and he moves the chains. Ball uh, inside the 30. Ryland Parker, the main in motion for the Cougars. Pratt with time. Rolls, finds a man wide open by his lonesome. He takes a knee in the end zone to grab it, and it's a touchdown for the Cougars. Garrett Gunner was wide open by his lonesome. I don't know that there was a guy within 20 yards of Garrett Gunner, and it's a 27-yard touchdown from Pratt to Gunner. Yeah, and again, uh, credit that offensive line for Van Wert. You know, that time Aiden Pratt had all the time in the world to throw the football. And I wasn't sure Garrett Gunner might just call a fair catch there. <laughs> I mean, he had all kinds of time. Nobody on that uh, back corner of the end zone, and uh, he just made sure he secured the football. And what a big time drive once again by the Cougars who are now four for four. The snap back hold is down, the kick is up and good for the lead. Tinsel GM sales and service extra point. Van Wert now leads 28-14 after the Allen Davis insurance touchdown. 27 yards from Aiden Pratt to Garrett Gunner here on WOSN. First down, Snyder presented by Leland Smith Insurance. Leland Smith Insurance Service is your first call for all your insurance needs. Van Wert racking up the Leland Smith Insurance Services first downs. And talk about Leland Smith Insurance Services, they, uh, when you scroll through their Facebook scoop, it's just they are donating money to this organization or this local organization. Randy Myers and his crew over at Leland Smith Insurance, big supporters of the Van Wert County community. And uh, glad to have them on board tonight here for this game on WOSN. But Van, Van Wert racking up those first down scoop. Well, I tell you what, it's just been impressive what they've been able to do. And, and again, this is an offense coming in uh, ranked first in the WBL in most passing categories. They've done nothing to diminish that tonight. No. Uh, the Cougars came in hitting on over 72% of their uh, passes on the season. And I think that number's gone up tonight. Uh, got a false start here on the Cougars. That's the first call of this second quarter. 
And the first call brought to you by Pantry Pride. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service that you can count on here in this second quarter where Van Wert leads 28-14 to over the St. Mary's Rough Riders, and that will push the kickoff back a couple of yards, which uh, yard as well as St. Mary's has returned kickoffs, that, that, that could be a, a pretty important five yards. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, certainly this is going to be a ball that's going to be returnable. And again, uh, you know, they've had some uh, great special teams playing the season. And again, you've got uh, you've got so many different skill players back there uh, for St. Mary's that uh, capable of getting some long, big returns. And we'll see what uh, Van Wert uh, will dress up this time. They're going to kick from their own 35 yard line after the uh, false start there on the initial uh, kickoff. So Damon McCracken will kick off for the Cougars. St. Mary's will drop their returners deep. Braden Sullivan, Keegan Sharp, and Carter Steinberg back deep to return for the Rough Riders. McCracken will put his right boot to the ball. It's a high end over end kick caught by Sharp along the far sideline. He's got a convoy of blockers in front of him. Sharp out to the 35. Still on his feet, still being shoved. He's been corralled from behind, couldn't go anywhere, but he was laying on top of somebody. And we'll finally get a stoppage in play, and St. Mary's will start at their own 36-yard line. I tell you what, that was a generous uh, forward progress whistle, but I understand why the officials were hesitant because it's not easy to bring these uh, rough riders down. No. They have so many uh, skilled guys with those second and third efforts, and uh, they have the ability to break so free from some of those uh, holds. At that time, a good special teams play after kicking from their own 35-yard line, but we will have a penalty at the end of the play, and that's going to move the football another 15 yards. So that'll take it uh, just across the 50-yard line. So St. Mary's uh, looking at a short field here. And uh, their offense is going to really need to be up to the task here because the defense really has had no answer here this entire first half as Van Wert has scored on all four of their possessions here tonight. We'll see if the Rough Riders try to strike quick here as they'll hand off to Aiden Hinkle. Gets to the 41-yard line, or excuse me, the 46-yard line. And looks like a Cougars lost his helmet. As Logan Dotson. Well, that's a nice run by Hinkle. You know, he should have probably uh, been uh, held to uh, no gain, and somehow he's able to uh, pick up. Uh, it's only three yards, but that's a that's a big play. Instead of looking at second and ten, a little bit more manageable here, second and seven. You know, Hinkle comes in with seven touchdowns on the season. He's averaging six yards per carry on the season. We talked about how he's led the Western Buckeye League in uh, rushing yards on the year. Cody Wallace hands off to Aiden Hinkle. Hinkle in the open field, slips past a tackler, and he's off to the races. Aiden Hinkle from 46 yards out scores an Allen Davis insurance touchdown, his second here in the first half. Wow, unbelievable. He came in tonight with seven TDs, and now he has nine, and we talked about uh, his rushing uh, prowess, and uh, boy, that time he just takes the house, and again, uh, just vintage uh, Rough Rider football is they're able to uh, come right out the heart of that Van Wert defense. And another big run by Hinkle, he takes it to the house. That's a big answer by St. Mary's because they've now made this a one possession game. Logan Rush on for the Lee Kinsel GM sales and service extra point. Hinkle, second touchdown run of the night, had a 51 yarder in the first quarter to tie us at seven and now cuts the lead to one score, 28-20 as we await the Lee Kinsel extra point. Snap back, the hold from Sullivan is down. It kicks up and good, but we got a couple of whistles and an offsides against the Cougars. Might change things here just a little if, you know, the Rough Riders. That offense is designed to, to get two yards. Makes you at least think about it, doesn't it? Yeah, usually you don't take points off the board, but certainly might be an interesting call so, here to make. I, Bo Fry is saying we decline, and I think the official saying, well, we, we, we whistled the play dead before the, the ball goes up, and so you either got to kick it again or you got to go for two. So offsides on the Cougars. I guess St. Mary's will decline. I, so they'll keep it where it is now rather than move it up just a hair. And Logan Rush will get a second attempt. Yeah, maybe himself. that Van Wert penalty might be a advantage for Van Wert uh, now that uh, St. Mary's will have to kick this yep. again. So the extra point from Rush Sullivan back to hold for St. Mary's. Low snap, Rush 
Gets the kick up and good. A nice save there by Braden Sullivan. And we're back to a one-score game. Lee's famous recipe scoreboard reads Van Wert 28, St. Mary's 21 here on WOSN. This second quarter of action brought to you by Pantry Pride. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service you can count on. After the Allen Davis insurance touchdown, St. Mary's cuts the lead to 28-21. A couple of big rumbles here by Aiden Hinkle scoop that I don't know that can be overstated how important he's been here in the early going for St. Mary's. Yeah, no question about it. Uh, and again, you have to love the, the grit and fight of both these teams. You know, remember, these are the two premier teams in the WL. They have been for a long time. St. Mary's with 25 WBL football championships. Uh, Van Wert uh, second in the WBL as far as the championships, 19. Of course, Van Wert's won the last two, or at least had a piece of the last two. But, uh, you know, what a story tradition, both these schools. Of course, St. Mary's state champs back in 90, 92, 93. I believe they were runner up in 04. And of course, yeah. Van Wert uh, two years ago was able to bring home that state title. Jay Schaefer kicks off deep for the Rough Riders. It's caught by the Cougars at the five-yard line. And Brylan Parker takes it straight up the middle of the field and is brought down from behind. A touchdown saving tackle there made by St. Mary's. But a big return there by Brylan Parker. Brought down by 23, Caleb Yeah, Palmer. nice job by Caleb Felber to save a touchdown. But again, that's that explosiveness that we've seen uh, from Van Wert special teams. Uh, again, uh, coming in tonight, uh, Brylan Parker averaging over 40 yards per kickoff return. And uh, that time, maybe just a shoestring away from taking that one to the house. But uh, fine return, and Van Wert will have excellent starting position trying to answer that uh, St. Mary's touchdown. Cougars have scored every time we've had a football here tonight in this first half as Aiden Pratt will have Parker to his right riding in the sidecar, and they'll send Pratt in, or Parker excuse me, in motion. Pratt. Pump fakes, has plenty of time. Now will roll to the far side. Has Maddox Crutchfield in the middle of the field, and he dropped it. Long run for Maddox Crutchfield. He was in the slot to the bottom of your ski screen. Had to run all the way to the far uh, hash to, to try to get that one and had to dive for it. Great effort there by Crutchfield, but couldn't bring it down. It really was a tremendous effort, and that's a ball that Crutchfield uh, will probably be the first to admit that, you know, I can make that catch, but uh, what a pass here. Uh, by Pratt. Uh, that ball was 40 yards in the air effortlessly throwing off his back foot. Pratt to Campbell. Campbell off to the races once again. Tries to slip past the tackle. Keegan, Keegan Sharp will bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line, but a, the big first halfer, Connor Campbell, continues another. Leo and Smith Insurance first down catch for Campbell. Yeah, what a night. Uh, for Connor Campbell, that time on a quick slant, he takes the ball all the way down to the 30-yard line. Pratt fires on the far sideline to Crutchfield. He'll make the catch. He gets very close to another Leon Smith insurance first down. He's got one, and they'll move the chains once again. Uh, great job by Crutchfield. And again, uh, when you have that kind of uh, speed, you, know, you have to give him a little cushion. That time he took two hard steps downfield, uh, looked for the football, caught it. And another first down. I think we're going to have a timeout coming up, Van Wert. Metzger Financial out. Services Cougars timeout called by Van Wert. We will start. St. Mary's calls their final Metzger Financial Services timeout. We'll step aside as well. 28-21 with 4.15 remaining here in the second quarter on WOSN. Touchdowns tonight are presented by Allen Davis Insurance, your solutions provider specializing in auto, home, business insurance, and more. And we've got a bevy of Allen Davis Insurance touchdowns so far here tonight. Van Wert trying to put another one on the board at the 20-yard line. The 20-yard line of St. Mary's here as Aiden Pratt has been quite efficient in this Van Wert offense, and they're looking to punch it in one more time. Well, I tell you what, you give Aiden Pratt any time, he's going to find an open man, and uh, he's done just that tonight. Right now, uh, the Cougars knocking on the door. First down, ball resting just outside the red zone. Pratt back to pass. Stands in the pocket, fires to the near corner. Campbell's third touchdown grab of the half. He's corralled from 20 yards out. Makes it 34-21 Cougars. Yeah, once again, Connor Campbell uh, comes up big. That time he ran the corner out and credit to Aiden Pratt one more time. He dropped a dime there in the back corner uh, of the field there. And once again, Van Wert now for the fifth consecutive time tonight. They've scored on every single possession. 
And now trying to make it a perfect five for five on the PAT, PAT kick coming up here. Four first half touchdown passes by Aiden Pratt. Three of them to Connor Campbell. The Lee Kinsel extra point back. The kick is up and the kick is good. 35-21 Cougars lead St. Mary's here on WOSN. Extra points tonight are brought to you by Lee Kinsel on West Urban Road here in Van Wert. Take a look at their pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. Eric McCracken and the fine folks at Lee Kinsel. I don't, Aiden Pratt might be able to throw a football to Lee Kinsel from here, from here at Eggers Stadium. Uh, they're right here in downtown Van Wert and uh, do a fantastic job there with old Danny the Dealmaker and Billy Knoll. Lee Kinsel is uh, uh, one of the, the, the best car dealers here in the area, and we appreciate them sponsoring tonight's high school football coverage on WOSN. 35-21, Van Wert with the advantage here. And, Four first half touchdown passes by Aiden Pratt. He has been incredibly efficient, incredibly impressive here in the, in the first half scoop. Boy, he really has. He's thrown the ball so well, but it's been a team effort. He's had great protection up front. His receivers have been awfully good. And here's that middle return one more time for St. Mary's. Braden Sullivan on the return, spun down by Connor Campbell. Who uh, he's gonna three, put this one in the in the back of his mind, uh, you know, some day later in life. Yeah, caught three touchdown passes in the first half against St. Mary's. Uh, <laughs> Connor Campbell's had a had a had a big first half Balls here for the for the Cougars. Line, yeah, right now, if you're uh, St. Mary's, you have to find a way to not only score a touchdown, but you want to try to do it in exactly four minutes and two seconds. Because yeah. I don't think you want to leave any time on the clock here for Van Wert. To, you know, Van Wert's last drive there took all but 48 seconds, covered 60 yards. And that's kind of been uh, their typical drive we've seen uh, throughout the first half. Hankel gets the handoff. He gets nowhere. Swallowed up by that Van Wert Dean. Logan Dotson, Aiden Pratt in on the stop. And, and you mentioned um, the, the, the Rough Riders not wanting to give the Cougars football back. St. Mary's got the ball to begin tonight's game, so Van Wert's going to get it to start the second half, barring another onside kick. I'm sure that's got to be in the back of Bo Fry's mind, isn't it? Oh, no question about it. And I, I think that's why we saw one of the designed uh, onside kick by the Rough Riders earlier. We may see more in the second half if they can punch the ball in the end zone. Rough Riders hand off to Keegan Sharp. Sharp barrels through a defender to the 40-yard line to the 42. Gain of eight there on second down for the senior running back. Now that's a big run there uh, by Keegan Sharp after being stuffed on uh, first down. That time St. Mary's is able to pick up uh, good yardage. He's going to bring up a third and one. And uh, just as important for the Rough Riders, time uh, slipping off the clock. You know, they want to manage this well. They want to get in the end zone. You certainly don't want to give uh, the Cougars much time to work with. Third and one, Wallace under center once again. They'll hand off to Hinkle off the left guard. Gets the Leland Smith Insurance Services three, first down. On the carry. Oh, nice job by St. Mary's. By you know, we're going to see a little temple back. here out of them, but uh, so again, uh, no need to panic. I believe they are out of timeouts, yeah. but uh, they certainly, uh, as we've seen, this is the potent team that can uh, move the chains. That's going to buy them some time. And right now, they have a fresh set of downs, ball resting on their own 46-yard line as we hit the two-and-a-half-minute mark of the opening half. Well, give St. Mary's credit, too. They've got touchdown runs of 51 yards, 46, run, 46 yards as Keegan Sharp crosses midfield, stays in bounds, and then finally is forced out of bounds. We'll see where they spot him. A 46-yard line, but another carry there by Sharp. But uh, St. Mary's has been explosive offensively just as much as Van Wert has. Van Wert's just done a little more frequently. Yeah, right now, if, if you're the offensive coordinator, I, I think your job's safe. You know, you put up 21 yeah. points, you're moving the football. You know, the problem's been on the defensive side of the ball, but a lot of that's just the skilled athletes that Van Wert has. We knew that coming in. They're going to put up some points. A counter with... Keegan Sharp, a big hit there in the middle of that Van Wert defense as Jackson Jones makes a big stop for the Cougars. Yeah, great job that time by Jackson Jones and also Ashton Bear. That time uh, they ran that uh, nice counter play to the short side. It looked like they were going to have some room, but uh, those two closed it out in a hurry. But they do have a first down. So Van Wert St. Mary's continues. Cody Wallace, second throw of the night, looking, broken up by Carson Smith at the last moment. He was looking for Colton Mabry out of the backfield, and Smith gets his left paw on it to break it up. 13, Cody Wallace's pass. Yeah, great job once again. Uh, and again, it's been that team effort by Van Wert. You saw the, the tip there, the pressure there from the defensive front. 
Then you saw a great uh, defensive back play as they get the deflection just as Second you draw it up. It does stop the clock, but what it also does too, it kind of gets uh, St. Mary's off schedule here looking at second and 10. And, and Van Wert certainly wants to get uh, the Rough Riders into those throwing down situations. Wallace under center. They'll send Sullivan in motion. A false start. So a false start. I, I don't, Wallace pulled out and fumbled the football. And a, so luckily, luckily, and it's one of those weird times where the Rough Riders are saying, luckily, Five that's penalty, a, a penalty instead of a turnover. 15. Yeah, that penalty came at a good time. It looked like there was a, a problem with the exchange. But again, that's the problem you run into when you, you force a team off schedule. And now they're looking to probably throw the football here at second and 15 with, with clock uh, starting to be a factor here. And remember, uh, Memorial has no timeouts here left in this first half. So that uh, was probably part of that exchange problem. Two minutes remain here in this first half. They'll sling it to Hinkle out of the backfield, and he's gobbled up. Jackson Jones in on the stop. Fierce in on the stop as well for Van Wert. Never fooled, and it's going to be third and very long here for St. Mary's. I tell you what, uh, great job by uh, Jacob First, the senior, and also Jackson Jones, the senior. Those guys read that like a book. That was a screenplay designed to go uh, to the short side there set up by some play action, but uh, those guys read their keys nicely, got over there. That's gonna end up being a tackle for loss. And uh, that takes the uh, clock down to a minute 20 and counting right now. Third and 20 coming up here for the Rough Riders. They'll hand off to Aiden Hinkle right up the middle of the field. He gets back to the original line of scrimmage and maybe a few Three, yards past four, that, three. but it's gonna be fourth down. Surprised that Van Wert didn't call a timeout well, here. Two, Scoop, at the, they got three. Well, I, I think if you're Van Wert, you don't wanna get greedy right here. I think the important thing is you wanna to try to go in with a two score lead. And we saw right there the explosiveness of that uh, running attack that uh, we've seen him take it to the house at many times. So right now, I think both teams content right now to kind of be a little conservative here in the opening or the final 40 seconds here. And if St. Mary's can get a first down, then look for them to get in that two minute drill. Fourth and eight for the Rough Riders upcoming, looking for the Leland Smith Insurance Services first down. Wallace will chuck deep for Sharp, has him behind the defense, but he left it just a little short and a pass interference penalty thrown against Carson Smith. That's a pretty unpopular call here at Eggers Stadium. That's a smart play by Keegan Sharp. Uh, the wide out there uh, for the Rough Riders. That ball was clearly underthrown, but what Sharp did, he slowed down there and kind of forced a little contact between uh, him and the Van Wert secondary. And so with that, that'll be an automatic first down. It'll be 15 yards from the line of scrimmage. But with that 15 yards, that'll take the ball down to the 27 yard line. So now St. Mary's will have four cracks at it. Uh, you know, I imagine they're probably gonna have to go upstairs with no timeouts left. But uh, certainly right now Van Wert uh, trying to get into halftime, keeping us a two score contest. Wallace. Hands off to Sharp. Sharp will bounce it outside to the near sideline, and he'll get out of bounds. Gain it just a couple there on first down. Oh, nice job by Keegan Sharp. He's been awfully big on first down tonight. Uh, you know, that time he's able to not only get out of bounds, but he picks up seven yards. So great job. Still 21 seconds left. But right now, St. Mary's, they either have to get a first down, get out of bounds, or get in the end zone because with 21 seconds left, no timeouts, uh, certainly you have to have great clock management. You cannot afford to give up a sack here. Wing T once again, Wallace under center, fakes the handoff to Mabry, has a tight end, he's pressured, fires deep into the end zone, nearly intercepted, and it is. It's picked off by Van Wert. And Garrett Gunner got the interception, got the touchdown catch earlier. Gunner picks it off in the end zone and brings it back out. Big play for the Van Wert defense once again. Uh, credit Ashton Bear. Uh, that time the 5'9 uh, senior was able to uh, get the tip and the deflection. And then you saw the rest of it there, the pick, and they bring it out. And now with 11 seconds left, uh, Cougars come up with a huge uh, hole. The ball will be spotted on the 10 yard line. The 10 yard line. So right now we'll probably Cougars. see uh, Van Wert take a knee, but uh, this will be the only time that the Cougars won't get it in the end zone here in this opening half. And what a good one's been for the uh, host Van Wert Cougars. So Van Wert lines up in the victory formation. Pratt will take the snap. 
take the knee, and we've played one and half of football here. Van Wert scores on every drive in the first half except for that one. And the Cougars lead 35-21 over the St. Mary's Rough Riders. We'll step aside, come back with third quarter action as Van Wert leads St. Mary's on the least famous recipe scoreboard here on WOSN. Tonight's Western Buckeye League contest is presented by Citizens National Bank. See how they're building businesses one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. I'm Garrett C. Wright, joined alongside Scoop Miller, We're bringing you all the action here from Acre Stadium in Van Wert. The Cougars have a 35-21 lead at the halftime break over the St. Mary's Rough Riders. And Scoop, uh, when you take a look at uh, kind of the way things went in the first half, St. Mary's offensively, I think, you know, they don't have anything to complain about, but Van Wert scores on every drive except for the end of the half. Um, the, the Cougars just, they, they got so many playmakers that it's tough to say, okay, we're going to stop this guy. They got enough guys that you can't focus on anybody to try to beat, to try to stop from beating you. Yeah, you can't try to load up on one guy because they just have too many of those skilled athletes. But uh, I think sometimes under the radar is the the play in the trenches for Van Wert has been so good. I mean, Aiden Pratt has had so much time to sit back there. He's not had to rush a throw. He's not been knocked down. He hasn't taken a sack. He's been able to kind of pick apart that uh, secondary. But they've also complemented that with a very strong run game. They've done a great job of really mixing things up, making it tough for St. Mary's. You know, they've been, they've been mixing in just enough run plays, just enough vertical routes, just enough passes to the flats to really keep that St. Mary's defense on us. And when Van Wert can get those one-on-one -on -one combinations, those skilled guys are awfully tough to bring down. Result, they scored on the first five possessions. As you mentioned, the only time they didn't score was on that last drive where they basically took a knee there on the final play of the half. So kudos to that Van Wert offense. And now, you know, if you're Van Wert, you got to play like it's 0-0 right now. You want to come out, set the tone in the second half, very much like they did in that first half. You would love to get some points on the board here, get some separation, start getting doubt to creep in the minds of the Rough Riders. So St. Mary's won the coin toss to start the game. They elected to receive, which means Van Wert gets the football to begin the second half, and they've got that 14-point advantage on the Lee's Famous Recipe Check and Scoreboard. But Jay Schaefer trots out for St. Mary's. He'll put the football on the tee. Maddox Crutchfield, Rylan Parker back deep to return for Van Wert here as the St. Mary's faithful try to, or St. Mary's players try to rile up their faithful. Yeah, and you have to think uh, the onside kick is really not out of the realm of possibility here. The fact their defense has not had a stop. They try the onside kick right off the stop, and it never got 10 yards. It was scooped up by the Van Wert Cougars and take it to the 45 yard line, but scoop right on call. Onside kick, uh, it, we, we saw it work to perfection there in the first half, and I, I think St. Mary's just had, they, 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 they got to limit kick. Van Wert possessions, really. Yeah, and remember, you know, St. Mary's actually had two more possessions than Van Wert in the first half. They had got the ball first, then they executed the onside kick, so, you know, St. Mary's would stop actually three times that opening half. Meanwhile, Van Wert uh, was really, uh, so successful, but you know, Van Wert looking at short field here, but uh, honestly, Garrett, it hasn't made a difference all night. Uh, they've been yeah. just as effective starting out their own 20 as they have at midfield. We'll see what they do here in the third quarter. They got trips to the wide side, uh, twins to the left. Pratt buys Lonesome in a shotgun on first and 10. Looks right, throws right to Campbell. He goes up and gra grabs it at the 38-yard line. Brought down by a pair of St. Mary's Rough Riders. Is Hayden Davis in on the stop for St. Mary's. When you look at Van Wert's touchdown drives there in the first half, they were one play, nine plays, four plays, four plays, and four plays. Cougars slinging out to Matt Crutchfield. He picks up the Leland Smith Insurance Services first down. Brought down at the 31, 32 yard line with forward progress before being shoved back. But it is a first down once again for Van Wert. Yeah, if you look at the first downs, that stat might be misleading because uh, I think Van Wert's probably had as many touchdowns as first downs. And now they have, after two plays, knocking on the door, they have the ball at the rough right at the 32 yard line with another fresh set of downs. Once again, Pratt uh, only. Uh, Guy in the backfield on the quarterback draw. He's going to get good yardage on first down. 
Gets to the 25 before he's swallowed up by a whole host of guys wearing white. But it's a gain of seven or eight yards again on first down. Yeah, that's been so effective. You know, they've gone with an empty backfield most of the night, but they also have mixed in that quarterback draw just enough there. And again, that when you get seven yards on first down, that's great math for your offense. And right now, uh, the Cougars seem to be clicking once again, trying to get some separation here early in the second half. Second and three for the Cougars at the 25-yard line. Pratt looking to his right. He'll fire. Has Crutchfield in the middle of the field at the 10-yard line. Brought down at the seven. Another catch by Maddox Crutchfield. And a touchdown saving tackle made by Jacob Kessler. Well, that's a well-designed play. That time they had trips to the right, and they were stacked on top of each other tandem. And that time Crutchfield, the last one to go through, runs a quick slant to perfection. Brylan Parker takes the handoff inside the five-yard line. Parker had, I think, just 36 six carries coming into this tonight, but he had six right touchdown right runs, and he's looking for his second year of the ball game. Had a four-yard touchdown run in the first half, and it's second and four once again. Parker to the right of Pratt in the shotgun. He'll take the handoff and keep it himself, or excuse me, and take the handoff and get inside the five-yard line. He's marked down at about the two, but it's another carry there for Brylan Parker looking for his eighth rushing touchdown of the season. I think this is now officially the longest drive of the night here for Van Wert, but uh, right now a third and goal ball in the two-yard line and probably going to punch it in here. Eighth play of the drive. Parker takes the handoff looking for his eighth touchdown. Did he get there? He spotted just shy of the goal line, and it will be third, fourth and goal here for the Cougars. Right now at 31, yeah, no, great no penetration up front goal. that time by that St. Mary's defense as they force a Van Wert here to go for it on fourth down and uh, inches. Fourth and one. Pratt fakes the handoff to Parker, keeps it himself, and he's into the end zone. A one-yard touchdown run by Aiden Pratt. Gives Van Wert their sixth Allen Davis insurance touchdown on the ball game. Yeah, great job by Aiden Pratt. That's his second uh, running touchdown of the season. That time he just kind of lowered the shoulder there, put his head down, was able to bowl his way in the end zone. After an uh, impressive goal line stand there, it falls just a little bit short there for the Rough Riders. So Van Wert does exactly what they need to do. They come out clicking. They're now six for six uh, scoring touchdowns on all six drives tonight. David McCracken on for the Lee Kinsel's extra point. The snap is back. The hold from Parker is down. The kick is up. And the kick is through the uprights and good. Van Wert doubling up St. Mary's 42-21. 9-19 to go in the third quarter here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Homestyle happens here. 42-21 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. As and work leads St. Mary's here. A big, big drive upcoming here for the Rough Riders to try to claw back into this one as they now trail by three scores and haven't got a stop against that Van Wert offense just yet. Yeah, right now they're being doubled up, 42-21, but still plenty of time. So if you're St. Mary's, you really still want to stay with the game plan try to sustain a long drive here but uh, you want to result uh, with some points on the board try to get this back to a two score game kickoff from Damon McCracken corralled by Braden Sullivan takes it to the 32 yard line before he's tripped up and that's where St. Mary's will begin their first drive at the second half Hill once again solid special teams played by the Cougars and uh, they're going to force uh, St. Mary's Memorial to uh, look at a long field here. They'll start out to the ball just outside their own 30-yard line. Yeah, for, for St. Mary's here in the first half, the longer their drive went, the, the less likely it was to score to result in points. An 11-play drive was a turnover on downs. A 10-play drive ended in an interception. St. Mary's touchdown drives were, were of three plays, of three plays, and they'll try to strike quickly once again as Aiden Hinkle takes the carry right up the middle. A gain of two on first down there for the Riders. You know, both coaches, you know, Jacob talk Pierce. before the game the importance of, of winning that turnover uh, chain tonight. You know, the fact the that uh, you have two teams capable of putting a lot of points on the board. And as you mentioned, so important to finish drives, but you just cannot afford to turn the ball over against uh, a potent offense, and St. Mary's has done that tonight. Hankel takes a sweep to the outside on the far sideline, patiently waiting behind his blockers Number to the three, 35. Somebody three. lost their lid as it was Greg Felver. First hit on the play by offensive lineman there for St. Mary's. He's got to check out of the ball game. And they'll send in a 
substitution along the offensive line. The and I think the reality is, Garrett, uh, even though they're on their own 35-yard line, I, I have to imagine this is going to be yeah. four-down territory, the fact that your defense has had no answer for Van Wert tonight. So you don't have to get all five yards here, but you certainly want to get a good chunk here on third down. Cody Wallace under center, drops back to pass for the fourth time tonight, turns, fires, and it is corralled along the near sideline, or between the numbers, I should say, by number 23 for St. Mary's. That's Caleb Felver called his name a couple of times tonight, but just the easy curl route, and he picks up the Leland Smith Insurance Services first down. Yeah, great job by uh, Felver there, the senior, on a comeback route. Knew exactly where the sticks were, was able to get by it, and came back nicely, was able to pick up uh, a couple more yards than uh, where the chain was at, but uh, great conversion on third down. Double tight formation here for the Rough Riders. They'll hand off to Braden Sullivan. Gets out very close to the midfield stripe. A gain of seven there on first down for the guys in white. 13, Ash Bear. And again, so important for uh, St. Mary's stay on schedule. That's uh, something that uh, when they've had successful drives, it usually means they're getting good chunks of yards on first down. That time they pick up a, a long six there. Brings up a uh, second and four here for the Rough Riders. Seven and a half to go here in the third quarter. Wing T. They'll hand it off to Keegan Sharp. He'll try to cut it up. Gets to the 50-yard line. He's spun down in the open field. A nice open field Before tackle Keegan made Sharp there. By Good play on the edge there by 13, Ash Bear. Fletcher Smith on a stop. Now that time, nice Keegan run two, by three, Keegan Sharp. He can cut on a dime. It looked like yeah. that time he was going to maybe uh, slip into the secondary, get to that second level, but uh, Ashton Bear... Uh, the 5'9 senior came back, came up from his DB position, made a nice tackle, third and three. Well, turn around and hand it off to Aiden Hinkle. He gets upended to the 45-yard line, but it's enough to move the chains. It's a Leland Smith Insurance Services first down for St. Mary's. Yeah, big conversion on third down here the second time in this drive. And again, it's just amazing, here at how physical it is down there in the trenches. You know, these guys are going after it on both sides of the football here tonight. Wallace will go under center once again in the wing tee. They'll counter. Sharp back the other way. Tripped up. Might have tripped over his own offensive lineman. Gain of just a couple there on first down. And now make it about three. And again, that's a counter play we've seen a couple times tonight. But uh, again, a pretty good uh, serves there at the line there. Normally, uh, you can cut that back and get a little opening. That time, he able to. It's able to uh, get a couple yards after being tripped up just past the line of scrimmage. Second seven coming up for the Rough Riders. Any chance the Rough Riders go play action here at some point? As you get a false start penalty that, you know, you just, you, you're down by three scores. You don't want to give Van Wert the football back necessarily, but you also need a couple of scores here. And, and it, not to speak ill of the Van Wert defense or anything, but against a wing tee, it's kind of easy to get lulled to sleep a little bit of dive, dive, off tackle, sweep, dive, dive, dive. Play action where you get somebody slipping behind you. Uh, is that something that St. Mary's considers here in the, in the early stages of the second half? I, I think maybe toward the end of the third quarter possibly, but uh, again, that dive play there is something they've had success with but that five yard penalty throws them off schedule so they come back with the counter play to the short side that's going to be a good pickup of about seven eight Braden yards Sullivan but still going to bring up a third and a long six here for the Rough Riders. Braden Sullivan the ball carrier a couple of guys slow to get up there as Sullivan lost his lid Jackson Jones slow to get up for Van Wert. 13, Ash Bear, 55, Jackson Jones. A couple of substitutions made by the Rough Riders and the Cougars. I tell you what, this offensive front for St. Mary's, you can see why they're the leading uh, yardage team on the ground in WL this year. Uh, Xavier LeClaire, Greg Felver, Caleb Miller, Trent Wyckoff, Braden Saylor. Those guys are physical inside, and that time is a good answer from that uh, front uh, defensive line of Van Wert. As right they're able to uh, bring him down after maybe a gain of one. So fourth and five, and which certainly is going to be four down territory here for the Rough Riders. Aiden Hinkle got the carry. Jackson Jones to stop for the Cougars. So fourth and six upcoming for St. Mary's. Looking for that Leland Smith Insurance Services first down. As we approach five minutes remaining here in this third quarter, Rough Riders trailing 42-21 on the least famous recipe scoreboard. Wallace under center, drops back to pass. Hangs in the pocket, fires to Sullivan off his chest plate. And it's incomplete. Now yeah, that time Van Wert loaded up eight guys in the box and left a single coverage here. 
on Brayton Sullivan, but uh, that ball clearly hit him right uh, right on the numbers, but uh, that was a bullet that ends up going incomplete, so a good stop by Van Wert, and this is exactly what Coach Record wanted to see. You can't uh, win a game with one half. you got to come out, play a second half. Their offense put seven points on the board on their first possession. The defense comes up big to keep the Rough Riders out of the end zone. And now uh, Van Wert the chance to put a big dagger on St. Mary's right here. Is there a defensive adjustment St. Mary's can make to try to slow down this Van Wert offense? Well, you have to somehow try to get pressure on Aiden Pratt, which is easier said than done because he does such a great job of delivering the football, uh, hitting guys in timing. Pratt back to pass, looking over the middle of the field, has Nate Phillips deep, and he is gone. A 69-yard touchdown catch from Nate Phillips to Aiden Pratt. A nice completion there between the two. Gives the Cougars another Allen Davis insurance touchdown. Well, once again, the offense continues to deliver the knockout blow, as at that time Aiden Pratt had plenty of time. And Nate Phillips on the go route, uh, that ball hit him in stride. You talk about dropping a dime in traffic. That's exactly what Aiden Pratt did. And right now, uh, Van Wert uh, just putting up some big time numbers as they now have 48, uh, looking for 49 here with Damon McCracken on for the PAT. The snap, the hold by Parker. The kick is up and the lead Kinsel. GM sales and service That's Hector Pointers through the uprights. And good. The fifth touchdown pass by Aiden Pratt tonight gives the Cougars a 49-21 lead over St. Mary's here in the third quarter on WOSN. First downs tonight brought to you by Leland Smith Insurance Services. Your first call for all your insurance needs. 49-21. I said it was a 69-yard touchdown pass from Aiden Pratt. It was 59 yards. I, I was not a math major uh, in college. Good, uh, once so. again, uh, Van Wert uh, is held without a first down, but uh, that's because well, of the... Well, uh, technically, touchdowns are first downs. You, you, uh, in the fantastic stat programs, so you, you, you needed 10 yards, you got 59. That is a, technically a first down. <laughs> so they racked up the first downs here tonight. But another a fifth touchdown pass from Aiden Pratt. The second time Van Wert scored on the first play of their drive. He's been impressive tonight. He really has. Uh, you know, five uh, TD passes tonight for Pratt. We still have 444 remaining in the third quarter. Keegan Sharp will bring it out to the 29-yard line before he swallowed up. Luke Wessel on the stop for Van Wert. But St. Mary's will take over possession here now, trailing by 28. Yeah, right now this is an offense that's really not designed to come from behind well, big like they're looking at now. You know, this is a, a, one of these offenses that's going to take time off the clock trying to get the ball to the end zone. So Luke Wallace, or excuse me, Cody Wallace will step back out for Van or for St. Mary's is the quarterback. Have a straight team backfield behind him with Hinkle, Mabry, Sullivan on the carry. Try to bounce it outside, gets a crease up the middle. It's about the 34-yard line, so a gain of six there on first Sullivan down on for carry. Sullivan. Yeah, nice job by Sullivan that time. Uh, St. Mary's went with the bat in the full Parker. house backfield, and he was able to uh, take it uh, six, to the right four, side the there off the edge, and then he cut it back nicely. He was able to pick up six yards there in first down. And we told you last before the last drive that the longer St. Mary's drives have gone, the less successful they've been the last drive. A eight-play drive that ended on a turnover on downs. Their touchdown drives have been three plays, two plays, one play. As Aiden Hinkle three, picks up the Leland Long Smith carry. Insurance Services first down there on that big Locked rumble for the fullback. Back and again, uh, he's certainly a load. Aiden Hinkle, uh, another nice run right up the gut there, and he's able to take it out to the 45-yard line. You're right, you know, St. Mary's has probably won the time of possession tonight, but they're certainly not winning the stat that counts, and that's the one on the scoreboard that reads 49-21. Hinkle in the open field. He's got one man to beat at the 35-30, getting trailed by Carson Smith. Tried to stiff arm. He gets down inside the 10-yard line. Another big rumble by Aiden Hinkle, who's got touchdown runs of 51 yards and 46 yards, and he rumbles inside the 10-yard line that time. Well, I tell you what, uh, he's so explosive. You know, that time he's able to pick up some solid blocks, and uh, once he broke an arm tackle, he was off to the races. Credit Carson Smith. He had a tremendous pursuit angle that time on Hinkle. I don't know how else you're going to catch Hinkle, but Smith is able to track him down, but uh, not before 
Uh, the senior Hinkle takes the ball uh, inside the 10-yard uh, line. First and goal to seven. So Leland Smith Insurance Services first down. Aiden Hinkle from seven yards out. Stopped just shy of the goal Three. line as the Hinkle official on the far sideline. Spots him at the one, so a gain of six there for Hinkle, who's well over 100 right yards, well over 150 Riley yards Parker. now. Yeah, this has been an impressive Second drive here for St. Mary's, and uh, they just have to punch it in the end zone, finish the drive out. And uh, I think uh, once again, uh, you'd almost have to expect an onside kick here. He'll turn around and hand it to Hinkle, trying to get him the payoff after he got him all the way down here. Did he get into the end zone? Still no signal? Nope, he's still shy of the goal line. That looks like he's going to be a, a solid yard short here. So looks like we've got an injured Cougar on the field. And we'll step aside. 2.33 to play here in the third quarter. St. Mary's knocking on the door, trailing 49-21 on WOSN. This third quarter of action brought to you by Pantry Pride. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service that you can count on. Van Wert helping Logan Dotson off the field, the injured Cougar, with the ball at the one-yard line, St. Mary's. Knocking on Van Wert's door, third and one with 2.30 to go here in this third quarter, looking to punch it in. Cody Wallace under center, turns and hands off to Braden Sullivan, and he gets in from one yard out. It's a touchdown, an Allen Davis insurance touchdown for the Rough Riders. Yeah, you're just not going to stop a guy like Braden Sullivan who's got a nose for the goal line. That time he's able to barrel his way in, and uh, he caps off an impressive drive here by St. Mary's that uh, cuts into that uh, Cougar advantage. But, uh, boy, that stops a run there that Van Wert had going since uh, – probably midway through that second quarter. Third touchdown run of the season for Braden Sullivan as Logan Rush will trot on for the Lee Kinsel GM Sales and Service. Extra point. St. Mary's gets set. Sullivan the holder on the extra point. After the touchdown run, he'll catch the snap, kick it. Rush kicks it through the uprights and good, up making it 49-28. We'll keep it here as the Rough Riders. Now, I, I, they have onside kicked twice. One worked to perfection, the other, they didn't quite get it to go 10 yards. Conventional wisdom here says St. Mary's probably onside kicking it again, Scoop. I think you have to, you know, you're down three scores. I mean, I get you still have a quarter and some change to play in this contest, but the fact that uh, Van Wert has had the football tonight seven times, and Van Wert has seven touchdowns. I think you have to find a way to, to get momentum on your side and keep it on your side. And that might be your best defense tonight is uh, executing some onside kicks. I know it's rolling the dice, but uh, you know one thing you can bank about both these programs, they're going to go down swinging. They're going to do all they can, and St. Mary's will try to pull all the stops. You know, these are two of the premier teams we talked about, the WBL uh, this year. You know, the WBL, what a great tradition they've had. They've got seven state champions in football over the years, four state runners-up. But most of those are on the field right here tonight. Uh, these yeah. teams have combined for four state titles and two state runner-ups. Uh, and, of course, Van Wert's runner-up season was that 2000 season and the Rough Riders in 2004. And certainly they're not uh, any secrets about it. They're going uh, for the onside kick setup. It's a little different design we've seen in the previous two attempts. Yeah, Schaefer will try to get the bounce, and it goes about four yards before coming out of bounds. And Van Wert going to have excellent field position once again. Tony Marker for a Yeah, they will. Out. They'll have uh, excellent field position uh, right there where you see the uh, football. And I think they're going to tack five yards onto that. I think they ruled that uh, out of bounds before uh, St. Mary's uh, recovered, even though it did not go close to 10 yards. No, yeah, just I think four yards is about all it got. And you're trying to get that bounce. And, and you're right that it's a, a, it's a whole different setup than what uh, St. Mary's had tried onside kick wise previously that, you know, you're trying to sneak attack them at least uh, the first two times in this one. You know, there's no point in that one. Van Wert probably knows, hey, this, yeah, <laughs> this so thing's coming right to the middle of the field. It's a no-brainer. You know, when it goes out of bounds and kickoff, you have three options. You can take it at the 35-yard line, which you wouldn't do there. Uh, you can have them re-kick five yards back, or you can take the five-yard penalty from the end of the play. And, of course, with a five-yard penalty, that puts the ball on the uh, 
Rough Rider 38 yard line. So the best starting position tonight here for this Cougar offense. We'll see if they can keep it rolling. Van Wert has scored two times on the first play of the drive as Aiden Pratt scampers up the middle of the field. He'll slide at the 27 yard line before he takes a hit. But it's a Leland Smith Insurance. Oh, nope, it's just shy of the Leland Smith Insurance Services first down. Uh, what a great read by Aiden Pratt. You know, that time uh, St. Mary's tried to get a little pressure on him. He did a nice job with the, the little fake and then tucked it away. And there the hard count, I think, is going to draw uh, the Rough Riders off sides. We'll see if uh, that's the call. Yes, it is. So that'll move the chains. First time tonight by penalty that the Cougars have moved the chains via the penalty. So the Leland Smith Insurance Services first down with under two minutes to go here in this third quarter. And Van Wert leading 49-28 on the least famous recipe chicken scoreboard. When you look at the way Van Wert has distributed the ball tonight, Scoop, you know, Nate Phillips has a touchdown catch. Um, Connor Campbell has three. Garrett Gunner has a touchdown catch. They have uh, they have <laughs> spread the wealth. Brylan Parker's got two touchdown carries. Aiden Brown has a touchdown carry. They've got everybody involved tonight. Well, that's just it. You just can't try to load up a one or two guys. You know they're going to find the uh, open receiver and and perhaps did a nice job of, of checking down and, and finding the open man. He's also done a nice job of tucking the football away when necessary. Brylan Parker carries Seven the football Brian for St. Mary's. As Hayden Davis and Caden Sharp Davis. come off their linebacker spots one, to make the stop. The Two straight runs there for Van Wert to start this drive. A nice job by that front line of Braxton King, Logan Compton, Jamel Kessler, and Jace Schaefer getting some penetration. Pratt in the open field once again, and he is going a 23-yard touchdown run for Aiden Pratt. His second of the night makes it 55-28 Cougars. Well, that's the same play they started the drive out with that uh, Pratt was able to get nine yards, and that time, uh, wow, that was a huge open hole. I think the WSN band could have fit right through that <laughs> hole. Uh, great job again by that uh, offensive front of Van Wert, and credit Pratt. You know, he tucked it away. He was able to get in the end zone, his third touchdown of the season, his second rushing touchdown tonight. And it continues to be all Van Wert. Their offense now has scored on all eight possessions. Snap back to hold from Parker. The kick is up and good on the late Kinsel extra point. The second touchdown run by Aiden Pratt tonight has the scoreboard 56-28 here on WOSN. Touchdowns tonight are presented by Allen Davis Insurance, your solutions provider specializing in auto, home, business insurance, and more. Aiden Pratt. Now responsible for what is that? Carry the one. Uh, he's got seven responsible touchdowns. He's thrown five touchdown passes, two touchdown runs. He's had plenty of Allen Davis insurance touchdowns tonight. Yeah, what a performance uh, tonight uh, from Aiden Pratt, uh, the 6'4 senior. He's uh, really done everything, but uh, what a performance by Van Wert in all phases here tonight as uh, they're well on the way to picking up an impressive uh, WBL victory tonight. And I think after tonight, Gear, I think it's fair to say that it's going to be a four-horse race in the WBL after the dust settles here tonight. Kickoff from Damon McCracken, corralled by Braden Sullivan at the 15-yard line. He's gobbled up and driven backwards at the 25-yard line. Now, nice job by Aaron Dowdy there in special teams uh, once again. The 6'2 junior comes down, is able to get a nice uh, stick there, and again. Limiting those yak yards, you know, the yards after contact tonight have not been there for St. Mary's like they're used to getting them. I mean, this is the team that uh, leads the Western Buckeye League in, in rushing, but uh, they've had some line. impressive numbers tonight offensively, and no question about it, but they've also had their hands full here as uh, Van Wert's offense has been clicking. St. Mary's comes back in a wing T formation. They'll turn around, hand it off to Colton Mabry. His first carries here are the second half. Back to the 29-yard line, so a gain of just two there on first down for the Riders. Brought down by two, Carson Smith. Yeah, nice Smith job there by Parker. Mayberry there to uh, pick up some positive yards there in first down. Good job by Second that uh, Van Wert uh, defensive front. Gets some good pressure. The defense, uh, you know, has it, done, a, for the most part tonight, so a nice job of, of just bending, not breaking. They need to continue that here. So this could be the final play of this third quarter. They'll hand it off to Hinkle up the gut, spins out of a tackle at the 35-yard line, very close to a Leland Smith and Shirt Services Hinkle first down. Brought down by 53. And I think that will be the final play here of the third quarter. St. Mary's continues to have the football, trailing 56-28 when we begin the fourth quarter 
here on WOSN. Extra points tonight are brought to you by Lee Kinsel on West Urban Road here in Van Wert. Take a look at their pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. And Damon McCracken, eight for eight tonight for the Cougars on extra points. And, you know, uh, that can be a, a, a lost art scoop there, the, the extra point that, um, you know, Van Wert lost last week 20 to 19. Uh, you've seen other games uh, throughout the area that, you know, that extra point can be can be a, a pivotal play in the in the ball game, and McCracken's eight for eight tonight. Well, everybody in Van Wert knows how important special teams play is. They sure they remember that field goal back in the state finals a couple of years ago. They ended up being the difference. But uh, yeah, coming into tonight, McCracken was 17 for 21 on extra points tonight. He's been a perfect eight for eight. So again, great job by the we'll line giving him time. But a great job also obviously getting the long snap, getting the hold down, but it's been a team effort here really in all phases. You know, the special teams has been uh, kind of under the radar, but I think they played really well tonight. And, of course, what can you say about the offense? It's really uh, done more than this year tonight. Aiden Hinkle got the run on the last play. Cody Wallace going deep for Braden Sullivan. A fantastic grab by Sullivan. Got past the defender. Doe for the football, corralled at the 25-yard line. That's a big play action pass from Cody Wallace to Brayton Sullivan. It really is. And I'm not sure how you can defend that any better than uh, Van Wert did. Uh, you know, sometimes you got to tip your cap. But uh, Cody Wallace, he threw a missile there and uh, caught uh, Brayden Sullivan right in stride. Sullivan makes a fantastic catch in traffic, but takes the ball down the 25-yard line. Big Leland Smith insurance first down as Keegan Sharper, Braden Sullivan, excuse me, gets the handoff this time. Spun down at the 24-yard line, again, he just won there for the senior. Yeah, he certainly has to be on Brought fumes right now, but again, Smith he's a guy they want to have the ball in his hands, uh, you know, 25-plus times a night if they can. And that time he takes it down uh, to the 23-yard line of the Cougars. Second and eight upcoming here for the Rough Riders. Wallace back under center, two running backs behind him. They'll fake the handoff to Mabry, and Wallace will roll. He'll fire to the far corner of the end zone, looking for Sharp. He's got it for a 23-yard Allen Davis insurance touchdown. I'll tell you what, that's a good-looking pass by Cody Wallace. You know, he's a right-handed quarterback. He's rolling out to his left, and uh, he dropped a dime there right in the end zone. You saw the catch for the touchdown. So great response here by St. Mary's. And again, Garrett, you've said it before tonight, it's, the offense has really not been the problem. It's just trying to answer every Van Wert score. But again, uh, credit to St. Mary's team. They continue to play. They have their fifth touchdown of the night. And now you're going to see uh, Logan Rush, the junior uh, place kicker, in to try to make it a perfect five for five of the night. He came in 14 for 15 on the season, trying to make it 19 for 20 right here. So the Lee Kinsel extra point, ready to be attempted. Sullivan to hold the kick from Rush is up and through the uprights and good, and we remain perfect for Lee Kinsel extra points here tonight. 56-35 the score on the Lee, least famous recipe scoreboard with 10.43 to go here on WOSN. Tonight's Western Buckeye League contest is presented by Citizens National Bank. See how they're building businesses one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. 56-35 the score here in Van Wert. Lots of other games in the area already final, but with the high-scoring high offenses here, uh, we are still uh, still with 10 minutes, uh, just shy of 11 minutes to go here in this fourth quarter. Yeah, what a fun night it's been. Uh, probably more so for the Van Wert faithful, but uh, everyone here in attendance has really been entertained tonight, and to no surprise, here is uh, St. Mary's Memorial lined up for another onside kick attempt. This will be their fourth onside kick attempt tonight. They recovered one thus far, looking for number two. That one kicked by Logan Rush as Jay Schaefer had the first three, and it's snagged by the Cougars at the 35-yard line. By that time, I think they were trying to bounce it off, maybe a Van Wert up man, but that time it split a couple it's Van Wert Cougars. Kick. Rolls down to the, uh, right around the 35-yard line. line. So good job by Van Wert, the all-hands team in there. They recover the kick. They'll have decent starting position. The official spotted at the 37-yard line. So the two teams have traded touchdowns each time. They've had the football the last two times. Van Wert has yet to punt, yet to be stopped. 
The only time they haven't scored is when they took a knee to end the first half. Is Aiden Pratt, five touchdown passes, two touchdown runs. Back by his lonesome in a shotgun, and he'll turn to his left. Fire to Maddox Crutchfield. Slips a tackle at the 40. Crutchfield at the 45, shoved out of bounds. By Caden Sharp. Crutchfield. But a gain of about eight or nine here on first down by, by 11, Crutchfield. Sharp. Yeah, what a night uh, Maddox five, Crutchfield's had tonight years. as well. And again, uh, just a great job of securing the football, then taking off the run. Picks up nine yards and first down. Ryland Parker in the shotgun, or beside Pratt in the shotgun. He'll take the handoff, bring it back to the near side. Sharp seven, Brylin Parker brings him down shy of the midfield strike, but it's enough for a least famous, or excuse me, a uh, Leland Smith Keaton Insurance Sharp. Services first down. Good for a two there. A nice job by Jace Schaefer that time, who's uh, really uh, did a nice job from his defensive end position tonight. Still uh, bringing it to the party here with uh, just over 10 to go. Three to the right, two to the left. Pratt pump fakes and will roll to the far sideline and now will sling it to Campbell, just shy of the first down marker, but was wide open in the middle of the field. Had to go down to grab it, but it's another completed pass and another Leland Smith Insurance Services first down. Yeah, once again, great read by Aiden Pratt. Looked like he wanted to tuck that football away, run with it, but to that time, uh, the right side closed down, but uh, did not panic. And once again, Connor Campbell, the uh, 6'2 junior, open on the... Uh, Quick slant right across the middle. Rough snap, Pratt able to corral it. He's gobbled up in the backfield. And uh, Van Wert Cougar, Caleb Bledsoe lost his helmet. So that'll stop the, the clock momentarily, 11. but Pratt, instead of Carter's second and two, gonna be Sharp. forced with third about seven now. Yeah, nice job by Caden Sharp, the uh, 5'11 senior of the Rough Riders. He's able to get in there, get a Lawson tackle play. for loss. Third and six so for right now, uh, one of the few times tonight, Van Wertz looked at a third down. So right now, an opportunity for the Rough Riders to uh, get off the field here, possibly on third down. Third and six coming up here. Ball just inside uh, St. Mary's territory. Fifth play of the drive here as Pratt has all day to throw, and he'll chuck it deep. Has a pair of receivers. It's grabbed by Campbell, and he waltzes into the end zone. The fourth touchdown catch from Connor Campbell. Makes another Allen Davis insurance <laughs> touchdown. Campbell and Phillips were both in the area. Campbell grabbed it. Uh, took a second to make sure he had it. And then waltzed into the end zone. A 47-yard Allen Davis insurance touchdown. Yeah, once again, uh, Aiden Pratt uh, drops a dro dime out there. But blown coverage that time by the Rough Riders. That time, uh, Van Wert had, as you mentioned, Garrett, two guys down there. But uh, the athletic Connor Campbell goes up, snares it and then trots into the end zone. Another touchdown for uh, Van Word, who's now scored touchdowns on all nine possessions here this evening. And Damon McCracken continues to be perfect on the Lake Kinsel extra point. It's 63-35, Van Word over St. Mary's with nine minutes and two seconds remaining in the fourth quarter here on WOSN. Timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Both teams still with all three Metzger Financial Services timeouts here in the second half. 63-35 the score. Van Wert with the lead over St. Mary's. Excuse me, as Connor Campbell has caught touchdown passes tonight of 47 yards, 44 yards, 20 yards, and 47 yards. He has had a career day here for the Van Wert Cougars. Scoop. Oh, no question about it. Uh, these are video game type numbers that the uh, Cougar offense has been putting up time and time again. And, you know, that time the drive was one of the longer ones for Van Wert as it took a minute and 41 seconds off the clock. But still nine for nine touchdown drives. Keegan Sharp on a return at four St. Mary's. He's pushed backwards, shy of the 25 yard line. And the Rough Riders will start their drive there. I tell you what. Uh, here, it's so fun to see, uh, you know, this uh, Van Wert uh, hometown faithful. I mean, they come out full force here. And this is a town that's taken a lot of pride in its football, and uh, they're seeing some awfully good football here these last several years. The team just seems to be uh, really on a, on a roll. But what a fun team to watch with this offense, the way it's geared. Again, we talked about how they came in tonight, averaging over 40 points a game. Uh, that, those numbers are only going to go up. Rough Riders, touchdowns on their last couple drives, false start to begin this one, and that'll push them back five yards. 
And here's a fun stat tonight, Garrett. Uh, I think anybody that knows me knows that I'm a, a sports card fanatic. Today with the fog day, I was able to uh, secure a, a few football and baseball cards. Going through the boxes, I was able to find a former St. Mary's player. And I was also able to find a former Van Wert player. So think about that one a little bit. But uh, what a find for me. I, I did have several hundred cards, but the, what are the odds of getting two former players from these two schools tonight here in a, uh, a box of baseball and football cards that I bought today. So you get a you get a Galen Cisco baseball card? That's correct. And Van Wert. And remember Galen Cisco too, he was a football player for St. Mary's. In fact, he was a fullback for the Ohio State Buckeyes in part of that 1957 uh, national championship team. So, but he also, you know, was a pitching coach for the Toronto Blue Jays when they won the World Series in 93. Aiden Hinkle gets back past the original line of scrimmage. A gain of about eight yards there on second down. Van Wert. Now, Van Wert, I, I think, to my knowledge, there's two options. So there's only two guys really to pick from. I did not get both of them, but I did get one former Van Wert Cougar. Van Wert player or Van Wert coach? That's did, a good question there. They, actually, make, actually, I got a player. That could have been a coach. You're right. Cody but Wallace back I, to pass got here for the Riders. Looking. Nearly undercut it is. Luke Wessel, the interception. The third interception of the night by the Van Wert defensive backfield. Luke Wessel gets his hands on that one. And that's another big play by that Van Wert defense. Uh, the defense has come up with some big plays. None bigger than that right there is Luke Wessel, the 6'2 senior. He read that like a book. He got a great jump on that football at excellent uh, closing speed, a great angle. And again, did the smart thing. Just make sure you catch the football. And St. Mary's uh, kind of out of their offensive mojo is forced to throw the football down big here. And uh, Van Wert comes up with another pick here. So stellar play continues for Van Wert. And now the offense uh, looking to put up uh, possibly 70 here. We're still uh, just under eight minutes remaining here in this contest. Aiden Pratt with Parker to his left in the shotgun. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. He'll hand off to Parker. Rylan Parker to the 30, the 25-yard line. A gain of eight yards there on first down. Now back to the, the, the sports card. So it's not Weave Eubank is what I'm told. You're correct. It's not Weave. It's not Weave. So it's not Weave who coached here. And of course, obviously, was I think he's the only coach in NFL history to uh, coach a championship team in both the AFL and the NFL. And of course, Coach uh, Broadway Joe Namath uh, in Super Bowl, what was that, three? Yep. Um, so it, Joel Penton would be the only other option. I would, I'm, I'm blanking on a Van Wert player that would get you a, a card. Brylan Parker, another carry to the 20 yard line. 19 yard line, gain of six, gives him a Leland Smith Insurance Services first down. Yeah, I think this card was a 1966 card. There's actually three guys on. It's kind of an in-action card, but uh, actually it's a Roger Lalande who played for the Lions and Giants. I think he's a 60 grad of Van Wert, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, but again, I was excited to get a card of him. Uh, I, I already had a couple of them, but to get another one from a Northwest Ohio guy, you have to love it. The only other one was Jack Leininger. I'd have to get cards a little bit older to get Jack, but uh, <laughs> See, when you're I, I do there, have a you know. Jack, couple Jack Leininger cards at home, by the way, but uh, I always would look for more. Another high snap corralled by Pratt, gives to Brylan Parker. He'll scamper along the near sideline, has one man to beat, and he's in from 19 yards out. Brylan Parker's third touchdown, a run of the north. They, they're gonna mark him just shy of the goal line. They'll say he stepped out of bounds before he got into the end zone. Yeah, the band's playing, the crowd's cheering, but uh, I think they are going to rule them uh, just a little bit short. But either way, it's uh, just another fine play there by the Cougars, and now they're knocking at the door as they're uh, in first and goal. Ball at the four-yard line, and this touchdown would put the running clock into effect if Van Wert is able to punch it in. Pratt and Parker in the backfield. Pratt hands off to Brylan Parker, right up the middle of the field, needed to get four yards. Still shoving, didn't get four yards, and it's shy of the goal line. Again, the thing I really like tonight, you know, we talked about how stellar this offense has been, but they've they just had 
they've done a great job of eliminating penalties. They've done a great job of, of eliminating some of those miscues, some of those tackles for losses. They've done a great job of just staying on schedule. And right there, uh, just going right at the heart of that uh, St. Mary's defense who's stacked up there in the box. Pratt in the shotgun with Parker to his left. Two receivers to the right. Maddox Crutchfield lined up as an H-back with five seconds on the play clock. Four seconds, three seconds. Pratt gets it off, hands off to Brylon Parker from two yards out. He's just shy of the goal line. He is up the, <laughs> the official on the near sideline says Parker has his third Allen Davis insurance touchdown run of the night from two yards out. Now oh, nice run by Parker. He's just able to get the nose of that football uh, to the goal line, but that's all it takes. And uh, what can you say? Now it's a perfect uh, 10 possessions, 10 touchdowns. And now trying to make it a perfect 10 for 10 is Damon McCracken, the senior, coming on for the Cougars. So the Lee Kinsel extra point attempt by McCracken. He kicks it through the uprights and good. He's 10 for 10 on the night, making it 70-35. We'll keep it here. A touchdown presented by Allen Davis Insurance, your solutions provider, specializing in auto, home, business insurance, and more, as Brylin Parker now has three touchdown runs. Connor Campbell with four touchdown catches. Aiden Pratt with six touchdown passes, two touchdown runs. It has been a bevy of touchdowns here for the Van Wert Cougars and a bevy of Lee Kinsel extra points as well as they lead 70-35. Uh, an offensive explosion for Van Wert. And, uh, uh, you could have kind of felt this coming because the Cougars scored 19 points in the first quarter last week against Wapak and fall 2019. You, you, just, you could sense that there was a, an idea from Van Wert that we're, we're not going to put 19 points on the board and then go, oh, for the rest of the game. And, and they've certainly done that here tonight with a, a 70 on the board. Yeah, they came out with a chip on their shoulder. The focus has been there. That's what I really love about Van Wert tonight. They're not taking any plays off. You know, they're playing each play like this is it. This is the game on the line. This is crunch time. And that's a sense of urgency you need, you know, not only if you want to try to compete for a WBL title, but if you also want to make a deep tournament run, which uh, we all know both these teams would love to do. These two squads have alternated victories the last five times out. St. Mary's won last year 21-14. Van Wert now doubling up the Riders 70-35. On the Lee's famous recipe scoreboard as McCracken has the football teed up, ready to kick off, and the running clock is in effect now with a 35-point lead for the Cougars. Kickoff caught by Keegan Sharp at the five-yard line. He'll bring it straight up the field, trying to put a kibosh on the old running clock. Sharp, 40, has two men to meet. Can he break? Can he get past him? Carson Smith hawking him down inside the 10, inside the five. Sharp dives for the goal line. Did he get there? No, he is at the one. Wow, we have a running clock, but uh, maybe only for a play here as that one is almost taken to the house. So what a return. We talked about how dangerous the return guys can be at that time just an eyelash away. And uh, when's the last time you saw a running clock, if ever, when a team scored 35 points but yet had a running right. clock against them? Well, <laughs> when was uh, there, there's a couple. When was the last time you saw somebody start a drive at the one? Uh, so the, the clock should be started. but it is stopped at 440. The officials have not started the clock yet, now do. Straight T backfield from St. Mary's. Wallace just shoves ahead five yards deep into the end zone for the one yard touchdown run. Number 13, Cody Wallace on the keeper, good for the rider. So touchdown. Wallace's second Allen Davis insurance touchdown run makes it 70-41 touchdowns are presented by Allen Davis Insurance, your solutions provider, specializing in auto, home, business insurance, and more. Well, I sure hope all our fans uh, watching it took the over on the over-under here tonight because uh, if so, they're certainly going to be sitting well. But uh, credit St. Mary's, you know, they're still playing hard. This game's going to be out of reach. But, man, they're still playing hard. It's a big play there on special teams. And uh, certainly... Uh, Certainly something uh, you can build on right there. So Logan Rush on for the Lee Kinsel sales and service extra point. Snap to Sullivan is back. The kick is blocked. 
Now you have to love it again. Now these guys continue to play each and every play. I believe that time it was crew. Keaton. I believe stood up there. I think it was hard to tell a number. 28, 28. Reese Crew got the block here coming off the edge. So that's and really for yeah, as many great. touchdowns as we've had, uh, yeah. Scoop. That, Both that's these the kickers first missed extra point. Kickers have been perfect tonight. And but again, this is what I love to see. High school kids going out there. You, you can't tell what the score is by watching these guys play. That's what I yeah. love about high school athletics. And, and that's a sign you have two teams out here that are super well coached. You know, that says a lot about uh, those coaches, but it also says a lot about the type of kids they have there in these two programs. There's no reason to, to doubt why these teams have been really the cream of the cap crop in the WBL for a long time. We talked about the fact that uh, you know, these are the two top uh, teams as far as WBL titles with St. Mary's only 25, Van Wert only 19. And Van, Van Wert with this win tonight will kind of keep them in the hunt. We talked about being a four horse race. You know, Wapak, uh, they were ahead 17-0 at half tonight. They're certainly going to be the front runner, but uh, Van Wert and Salina was uh, knocking off Elida the last I looked, so certainly Salina going to be in the hunt with Elida. So a lot to happen yet, but any way you slice and dice, it's been a big night here for Van Wert. And we'll see if this time they elect to kick it deep. They do kick it deep. It's high end-over-end -end kick caught by Carson Smith, and he'll take an E at the 22-yard line. 70-41 the score between Van Wert and St. Mary's, and the 41 after the blocked extra points. Extra points are brought to you tonight by Lee Kinsel on West Urban Road and Van Wert. Take a look at their pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. So the ball at the Van Wert 22-yard line with 4.27 to go in tonight's ball game. See if we might get a. That well, looks like the varsity offense still on the field there for Van Wert. Didn't know, you know, with four and a half minutes to go and you're leading by 29. If you, if you start getting some guys some Friday night experience, but Aiden Pratt will trot back out there with Brylin Parker to his left. Got two wide receivers to the bottom of your screen. One now being guarded as they'll hand off to Parker. Shoves his way into the 25-yard line, brought down by a couple of guys wearing white. Gain of just a couple there on first down for Parker, who's gotten uh, a big bulk of uh, the carries here in this Brazil second half. Boy, he really has. And you have to remember, too, in this series here, Garrett, uh, St. Mary's in recent history has kind of dominated the series. We talked about Van Wert won here at uh, Egger Stadium two seasons ago, but uh, seven of the last eight contests have belonged to St. Mary's, so this could uh, certainly be an impressive win here for Van Wert tonight, just a few minutes away from closing it out. Aiden Pratt looking to fire to Connor Campbell. It's batted down by Jay Schaefer, and that'll bring up third and seven here for the Cougars. Well, that's one of the few incomplete passes we've seen all night. Uh, you know, really, from either side, uh, you know, St. Mary's, they don't throw the ball a lot. They're usually successful. They were 67% through the airways, just 12 for 18 through four games coming in. But again, uh, very efficient when they need to. And right now, one of the few third downs again for Van Wert, looking at third and seven. Aiden Pratt will send Parker in motion. He'll turn and fire to the running back out the backfield to the 30-yard line. And he got the Leland Smith Insurance Services first down there on the reception by Brylan Parker. A nice job by Brylan Parker that time. Knew exactly where the sticks were uh, that time. Uh, just a, a quick swing pass out in the flats. Did a little juking and jiving. He's able to uh, move the chains. Takes the ball out to the 35-yard lines. We're now under the three-and-a-half-minute mark of this final quarter. Tonight's first down is brought to you by Leland Smith Insurance Services. Your first call for all your insurance needs as the Vanward offense yet to be stopped tonight outside of the end of the first half. Looking for their 11th touchdown of the night as Aiden Pratt will be in the shotgun. Parker to his left, two to the right, two to the left. So we approach three minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Parker takes the handoff. He is swallowed up in the backfield. Brought down by Jamal Kessler from his defensive Brown, tackle spot. Stops for a loss or maybe a half yard Brought gain down there 14, on first Jamal down. Kessler. Yeah, nice job there uh, by that defensive front. Uh, the Rough Riders got a good push there, and uh, that time, uh, Brian Parker, just no chance. He was kind of met in the backfield, very fortunate to uh, get positive yardage as he picks up one. Going to bring up a second and nine for the Cougars. Uh, showing a lot of patience here. Uh, Going to take the uh, play clock down as long as they can, which is now at 10. 
Van Wert head coach Keith Rector told us before the game, the, the, post, the, the, the key to the game for them is don't turn the ball over. They haven't done that tonight. They also told us that he hoped that loss against Wapaw kind of gave them a sense of urgency. They got 70 points on the board. I, I think this is probably his, his best case scenario tonight. Could have gone for the Cougars. Yeah, I think the message as was received uh, loud and clear by the uh, the Cougars out here tonight. They, they've really, as we mentioned, Garrett, they just have not taken plays off, you know, and you can't tell what the score is by watching how hard they play. And that's what it takes if you want to be a champion. You have to go out there and compete on each and every play. Now, not every play is going to go your way. You're going to have adversity there. You're going to have some miscues. You're going to have some things. You're going to have to persevere through. But if you go out there and give that kind of effort each and every play, boy, you're going to get better and better. And that's the whole idea. I mean, obviously, you want to go 1-0 and for the week, but you also want to be a little bit more prepared when week six rolls around next Friday night. Connor Pratt fires to Connor Campbell along the near sideline. He picks up another Leland Smith Insurance Services first down as Pratt had to struggle to get the grip on the football on the snap, but was able to sling it here to Campbell. Big night for Connor Campbell. Had one touchdown catch coming into tonight. Four tonight here against the St. Mary's Rough Riders. Uh, it's a night he'll remember for a long time. I tell you what, a lot of guys would love to have career numbers for what uh, Connor Campbell's put up tonight. He's just been so impressive, done a great job of, of not only creating space, getting open, but securing the football. Now uh, the Cougars will go to victory formation here as we hit the uh, one-minute mark. We'll have to have one more snap after this one. But again, impressive uh, job tonight by Van Wert uh, pr protecting uh, home field tonight in front of a large and boisterous crowd here at Van Wert, which you just love to see. And St. Mary's had a great following tonight as well, but uh, they're going to leave a little bit disappointed as uh, they took uh, a lot of blows early and often. And again, just had no offense for that uh, potent Van Wert defense. Again, uh, scored on all 10 possessions tonight. Unreal. Both teams will finish tonight with all three of their Metzger Financial Services timeouts. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. One final meal from Aiden Pratt, and that will do it here from Van Wert Cougars. Win 70-41 over the St. Mary's Rough Riders. We'll step aside, come back, and put a bow on tonight's matchup. Cougars victorious 70-41 here on WOSN. Tonight's fourth quarter was brought to you by Pantry Pride. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service that you can count on. Van Wert victorious tonight, a gigantic 70 points on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Wapak and Delphus sponsored tonight's scoreboard. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here as Van Wert victorious 70 to 41 over the St. Mary's Rough Riders and an impressive, impressive performance by the Cougars offensively. Uh, scoop is a, you know, the, the two times they were stopped were at the end of the first half and the end of the ball game. They scored 10 touchdowns the 10 times they had real chances with the football. Yeah, just incredible. You know, how could you even suspect that? We, we thought it was going to be a high scoring game. We talked about before uh, kickoff tonight, but I don't think anybody expected to see uh, these kind of numbers. 111 points put up uh, combined on both sides. But uh, again, 10 for 10. I mean, that's that's one for the ages. It's one thing to hit 10 free throws in a row in a basketball game. It's another <laughs> thing to hit 10 touchdowns in all 10 possessions. But that's exactly what we saw here tonight from Van Wert as they put up three touchdowns in the first quarter, two for two in the second quarter. They came out big in the third quarter, three more touchdowns. And of course, in the fourth quarter, they scored uh, consecutive touchdowns before uh, closing out. They had a few first downs on that last drive and then ended up taking a knee just like they did the last play of the first half. But all in all, a great win for the Van Wert Cougars. And they kind of keep themselves alive in WL. They're looking behind uh, Wapak, as we know. And, of course, Walpock has won, I think, six of the last WBL titles and will be 4-0 after the night. But uh, Van Wert did what they had to do. They take care of business, and they improved from last week. That's the whole idea. They came out, as you mentioned, much more sense of urgency. They came to play in each and every play. And certainly something to build on uh, for Coach uh, Keith Recker's squad. 
Take a look at the Van Wert Cougars and the St. Mary's Rough Riders playing together at midfield. Love to see that. There is, there's no admission fee to watch this game, but there's a cost for us to broadcast. So say thanks to a viewer supported TV44 by sending a financial gift. TV44 relies on donations of viewers to enable airing of this game and other locally produced games. You can donate at WTLW.com and just click the spot that says donate. A fantastic performance by Aiden Pratt. Time to name our Stolle Insurance Hustle Award winner. I think Connor Campbell from Van Wert uh, had a, a, just a fantastic night. We mentioned it a couple times. Had one touchdown coming into tonight on the season. Four touchdown catches tonight for the junior. I think he's got to be our Stolle Insurance Hustle Award winner tonight. Yeah, what a what a performance tonight by the junior, Connor Campbell. You know, he, he made uh, some spectacular grabs, and he also did a nice job of, of – getting yards after the catch, you know, something that sometimes gets overlooked. But again, you know, an all-around team effort. You could have gave it to so many guys yeah. out there tonight, but certainly the numbers Campbell put up tonight, as we mentioned earlier, I think a lot of guys would be happy to have career numbers that you saw uh, from number four here tonight, so our, or number three here tonight. So our congratulations go out to the junior for our player of the game honors here tonight, and what a great performance. Tonight's Western Buckeye League matchup was presented by Citizens National Bank. See how they're building businesses one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. The final score, the final time here from Van Wert. The Cougars take down St. Mary's 70-41 to for our fantastic WOSN crew. And Scoop Miller, I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long here from Van Wert. And we'll catch you next time right here on WOSN.